Hey, we're live, and we're hey. only 20 minutes late. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Good thing I didn't announce this to the world hey. beforehand. Uh. I can hear myself on somebody else's computer. Hello, found familiar. Hello, Mike. <laughs> I got it. Sorry, I'm looking at the chat. Uh, we're back. Second session of Mutant Year Zero, which has been dubbed Mutant Year Hero for our ongoing campaign. Uh, this week, we are short Jeremy, a.k.a. Cleaner, a.k.a. Moth. But we have Ken Tarkov. Our, uh, that sounds like a name, Ken Tarkov. Our, like a our Star Wars starter. name. Yeah, right? <laughs> Ken Tarkov. Ken Duque, <laughs> a.k.a. Tarkov, is here this week. He was... He was away last week, and we had to go save him in the wastelands from some weird inbred cannibal mutant. My boy. friends. Yeah. You guys killed my friends. That's right. You sons of... Uh, okay, so we will start off with doing the little plug of whatever is going on, like we normally do here on the channel. So I will start... I'll do in order of the overlay. Ken, do you have anything going on that you want to plug that you're currently working on or that you do or that you want the people to be aware of? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Se secret GNP stuff. Secret GNP stuff. Do we even know what it is? Uh, I think Adam knows what it is. I do. Adam, you're holding out on me. I am. Why are you holding out on me? <laughs> Wait till a meeting. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, Jen, what do you got going on? Jen, you got something going on. I know that. Uh, I know. Yeah, we've been uh, streaming and playing Remnant from the Ashes, uh, me and a couple GMP members, every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Central. Yeah. That's about it. What is your channel? Uh, Pixel Prowler. Twitch.tv? Yeah, um, she could say hi in the chat, too. Uh, that'll... She did. She did oh, say cool. hi. Yeah. I just, I just linked her channel. Check it out. Subscribe. Oh, follow. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, she's doing Remnant and some other stuff. And uh, hopefully you'll see her on the channel a whole bunch more in the near future. Adam, what do you got? Yes. What do you got going on? You got all kinds of stuff going on. I do have uh, quite a bit of stuff going on. Um, I am working on the, the Patreon with uh, Mike the Boss Bossler. Um, and if you do sign up for the Patreon, um, you'll have access to my main project um, where we are streaming our, um, uh, we're not streaming, we're recording and then posting our uh, development sessions of Radiator Alpha, a grim and post-apocalyptic RPG. Um, so if you're into the post-apocalyptic setting, which hopefully if you're watching this, you are, um, then we're going to have our take on a post-apocalyptic setting that I've been dreaming about for a good 30 years now, um, uh, powered by the 100 uh, Y hundred system. So um, that's mainly what I'm working on. Uh, I play in Remnant with uh, uh, Pixel Prowler uh, and I'm just here trying to keep everything together and make sure that uh, I look over all them rules that we're writing. That's right. That's right. Why can't we all be friends? Why can't we all just be friends keeping it all together? Um, uh, Mike, what do you got going on? Do you have anything going on? Uh, let's see. I play uh, the Queen of Embers on Wednesday, do the radiator stuff on Friday. Sometimes I'll do this on Saturday. I do the mechanics Mondays. So I do a few things. Damn, you're busy. Yeah. And but it's fun. Remnant, yeah. yeah, I play Remnant, but not with them on Tuesdays because it's neither. only a three-player game. Yeah, so Mike and I are invited. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go start our own far. channel. You have yeah. a sad, you you have a sad two you. guy, two guy yeah. channel. Mm, single tier. <laughs> That's us. All right, cool uh awesome 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 i want to say hello to people i see in the chat here we got jeff joining us he's back from greece jeff good to oh see hey jeff boys. hey jeff i see oak it's like i feel like um you remember romper room where they're looking into the thing and like i see ken and i see jennifer and i see adam no is it not watch romper room? is that a canadian thing R romper stopper no romper room <laughs> romper is, stopper. It, is, it is not a is kids it, show is it fun like that no hmm. it's a kids show uh, okay, uh, <laughs> and I see some new people, like a uh, Mitch Tummers, if you are, are real and not a bot, hello, and uh, 
and I see fans from Wonder <laughs> and Foxwood Games. Hello, hello, Georgie. Hello to all these new faces. If you if you're real people and not bots, thank you for joining us. <laughs> you never know, especially hey, Mitch Tummers. Hey, Mom might take offense. Yeah, to that. exactly. When I started this channel for the first two months, I was like, wow, the same people keep showing up and watching my, my games every week. That's awesome. And then I realized, oh, they're bots. <laughs> Nobody's watching me play Boxwood <laughs> Games by your command. Hey, thank you. Georgie, hello. Great, great to have you here. All right, so let's do a recap of what happened in session one. Uh, who wants to go ahead and kick it off? We can do a little collaborative thing. Ken, you're off the hook because you weren't here. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, we started the session with uh, uh, the bosses addressing the uh, settlement. The yeah, arc. yeah, the General um, Assembly. And we decided that we would uh, build um, defenses. I can't remember which exact defenses we said we did build. a wall, like a palace. The, the project is just called Defenses. Oh, cool. All right. Um, so. That's then, not very catchy. Uh, we were informed that Tarkov was missing, and uh, we all, you know, all of us, Piper, Sonny, Mom, myself, uh, we wouldn't stand for that, so um, we went ahead and offered to go. Uh, Alcazar offered to send some of his men, but they didn't show up. And so, womp womp. Whenever I hear that name, I just think of Alcazar. Alcazar, thank you. Thanks for putting that name. <laughs> Every time I turn around. Um, anyways, uh, I think I'll turn it over to um, Mike. All right. So the Avengers assemble, uh, and uh, we decide to push south, which was the last known location of uh, Tarkov. And so we did so, and thanks to... Uh, my employee, Sean, we were able to uh, find the path, uh, get the, the drop on some zone ghouls and dogs. Uh, Piper was uh, sneaky enough to sneak into their camp, grab their goods, and get out before they could wake up. Uh, yeah, that's pretty then, great. Yeah. And then Sonny, uh, using his mutant, ear, or his mutant power, which is his tracker ability, uh, was able to sniff out the right direction and uh, allow us to continue towards um, Tarkov. And then in the next zone, we come across this uh, very odd person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, My yeah. buddy. Yeah, so, uh, some... Uh, Killed Ken's I, friends. Yeah, what was his name again? It doesn't matter. Mr. Mr. Billy, Hill Billy. Cannibal Jr. Um, yeah, I don't remember the name, but it does it does not matter at this point. So Cannibal Jr. Uh, is like, yeah, you can, you know, come over to my house for dinner. And we were like, oh, this seems weird. And Sonny, thanks to his mutant powers, was able to smell Tarkov on on the guy. So you know, he agrees, knowing that that guy is going to lead him uh, to my best PC buddy besides Marlon Rando. Um, and then um, we get there. Uh, it's a like, really odd house. It's like clean. Um, and it's like fenced in and it's nice. And there's this big plastic thing. It's, I don't know what to call it. Well, it was a dinosaur. but It, was a it, had, it, it even yeah. had trash bags in the trash can. Right. They had trash bags in the trash can that somehow disappear every week. I, I blame zone ghouls. Right. I blame zone ghouls too. Uh, and then from there, we proceeded to uh, go into hostile negotiations, I think uh, is what you would call that. Uh, <laughs> it is where, uh, cool. Yeah, uh, I believe it was Vinny who was like, uh, Ma, he's going to eat me. <laughs> I was all like, fuck you, fat boy, and shot a grenade inside the house. <laughs> up. Um, caught things on fire. There were kids and women, children screaming. Uh, and then we threatened them uh, and then basically took their stuff. Their and, RV. Uh, we took their RV. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we left. Success. Great success. With Ken Tarkov. I mean, technically no one died, so we're good guys. Mm -hmm. 
You don't know that. We're good people. I mean, that's basically how you judge it. <laughs> yeah. You don't know whether or not anybody died. Women and children I, I know in the, the house. Grenade, I know the grenade rolled zero successes for damage, so it didn't do any damage, right? Yeah, that's, but that, that, house was, that house was coming it, down. It was crumbling. If we're going by G.I. Joe rules, no one died because you didn't see blood. <laughs> that's right. So. Hey, it's winter. The fire went out. We're good. Yeah, yeah good exactly. They all had parachutes. Yeah, they all had parachutes. <laughs> all the kids had parachutes. <laughs> like in all the episodes of GI Joe, when their plane blows up, they're always they always parachute just in time. It's true. Like, it's true. Like, Cobra guys are always falling into like the swamp, or they're falling into the trees. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Yeah, that sums it up. Yeah. That sums it up really good, what happened. Uh, we have some retcons and corrections to make, so we, we did not play some of the rules correctly, which is uh, to be expected your first time playing a game, so those were identified afterwards. So our rot was incorrect. What did we do incorrectly with the rot, Adam? Remind me on that. Oh, uh, yeah, the zone rot, uh, it's not how many rot you have to resist every time you go into the zone. It's a determining factor of how often you get a point. So... If you're in a level one, you have to be there for 24 hours in order to get a rot point. Um, yeah, it's like daily, it's, right? Yeah, if it's two, once an hour. If it's three, once a minute. And you guys were out there for eight hours. Uh, uh, yeah. Because it was four hours per per square, but then you drove back, and it takes, I think it's like 30 minutes going through a square that you've explored. Uh, mm -hmm. if you drive it. There's like a fruit fly flying around me that's weird uh the other things that we need to correct is the mutations we did those incorrectly uh so yes. sunny does not have an abnormally large nose that was uh that is not a thing uh piper is not more human than cat anymore she did not lose her cat abilities for the next six days was it six or ten it was a lot how did i miss all of those <laughs> and vincent though he did roll for two different um, mutations. He did get a six on one of the two rolls. So you're sticking with the changed skin color. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Or no? Yeah, I've got a yes. I've got an ashen skin color, but right. uh, you know, if uh, if we need to, I can I can keep the mutation too. We'll see. Either oh, no. that or it's. Oh wait, no, we did talk. Uh, it's queued up. So if I do get a new mutation, I am getting parasite. Right. So, so yeah. yeah. You got you got to choose which one so, of the two. Let's hope I roll two ones in a row, right? Right. So you have your ashen skin. So everybody except for Vincent uh, came out unchanged from their experience in the zone. Not me. I experienced a lot. <laughs> you lost some good friends. Um, and speaking yeah. of experience, uh, last time you said uh, <laughs> even if you're absent, um, Ken. you you get I got experience. Uh, yeah, I'm nice like that. That's what I, I, I give experience That's to even the people who are absent, are absent because I like to keep everybody level. What what I learned from, from my travels is experience enough. That's right. <laughs> How much did I get, though, just in case? Four. Four. Whoa, one, one away from something new. Right? right? Just kidding. I don't care. I was generous the first session. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that is a recap of everything that happened. Does that sound right, folks? Did we miss anything mm -hmm. for retcon? I mean, basically, also? all you need to know is a cleaner bot grenade launched to like a family's house. Yes, bare minimum. They were purebred humans. You guys attacked. That is a rarity in the zone, and you attacked a family of purebred humans. And now we know why they all should have died out. And inbred humans, because they can't survive <laughs> grenades generations of inbreeding they're allergic whenever applied grenades are applied to skin <laughs> so i have updated our map here with things that happen so that humans question mark on our map is where you guys encounter i put because are the humans i don't know uh are they keeping the rv no hell no they're not keeping the rv uh i marked that on the map where you guys encounter that fa family humans we have new neighbors off to the northwest of the ark because that's where there was rumors of uh, some sort of vessel and some people that have uh, been spotted over oh. there um i have also put the map in our discord because people were asking last week hey can i see this map somewhere so it is now in our discord so if you are over in the grim and perilous studios discord you can hop on over to the mutineer zero chat and you can i'm gonna pin them 
Uh, you can grab copies of both the map and the breakdown of all of the bosses in the arc, minus Sunny, because he's here. He can he can speak for himself. Yep. And that I think is it for housekeeping. Does that sound right? Yep. So we just need to find out what actually happens to the RV. <gasps> what? Dun dun dun. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Are you keeping I me believe on? automobile is one d six technology. Tech. It is. So you do. You are going to get one d six technology. So when you okay. guys returned back to the ark with it, you were um, approached and accosted and flooded by the people who live at the ark and uh, the bosses insisted that you turn over this technology given the current state of affairs with the water situation drying up soon with the purification unit uh being in danger there was a lot of talk that possibly this could be used to save or expand the or there we go or stretch out the lifespan of the current purifier so it was uh talked about ripping this thing apart to try and find parts and pieces to fix the purifier to Vinny's great dismay. And it came down to a vote and uh, majority ruled that it would be better for the Ark. Unfortunately, two weeks have passed since uh, that last adventure and there were no parts on there that could be used to fix your water purifier. So, Man. Vinny, you have a, a RV in pieces that uh, you could possibly put back together over time. Okay, okay. Well, uh... It was all for naught. I mean, we learn stuff, right? Because that's what I wanted to do anyway. But, uh, you know, just being told what I should do with my intentions, <laughs> you know... It makes me a little bit upset in my stomach, and I don't like having an upset stomach. You know what I mean? Well, you do get a D6 technology. That's something. Yep. No, that's so, really awesome. <laughs> that's a big help. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> oh, well, that's what you get. Yeah. I'll still give you. So I'll take. I give it, and I take it away. So we get a uh, D6 uh, technology, but we have to wait a year to go to vacation in like the Grand Canyon. Yes. <laughs> um, so, who wants to roll it? Not it. Not me. I feel like I feel like I don't deserve it. It's my fault. Or I take it back. I feel like I do deserve it. I so mean, you you're in blamed. a cage. So. Yeah. So I'll All do right. it. Go ahead. Am I still in the cage somehow? <laughs> no, no, we got you out. <laughs> you guys just kept me in the cage to punish me. No, we got you out. That's good. Yeah, I asked if it was a metal cage. And the answer was yes. So really, you could have gotten yourself out at any time. Yeah, at any time. That yeah. was the thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I just wanted to see where it was going. I wasn't sure. I like to wait these sort of things out. He was heavily know. drugged, though, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. He was. He was heavily drugged. Yeah, I forgot he was the master of magnetism. Yeah, when we when we found him, he couldn't talk, and I don't know why. I was, and so it must have been the drugs. Because yeah. they cut yeah. out his tongue. No. <laughs> I, <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, so and gonna... and you bam, know... fuck. Oh, <laughs> hey, it's hey. The rolls are now doubled the... in the worst result on the overlay. People can now see the rolls. Yay! All right, so two tech. Enjoy that two tech. Hey, it's better than one. Yeah, it must have been a knockoff RV, like one of the bad ones. Like not, it was like a traveler RV. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of zip ties. Yeah, yeah. And duct tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that stuff will fix anything. So, I mean, you can't Not go wrong cannibalism, with that. but sure. <laughs> they well, sure try. Well, actually, duct tape can fix cannibalism. You just, you know, keep taping around the mouth, and then eventually, you know, they can't eat, right? So, uh... We got a lot of this scrap, right? Yes. <laughs> and I'm think I'm thinking uh, I could make some stuff. You know, if you guys are needing anything, you still have that chainsaw. 
Yeah, I do have that chainsaw. I know how to use it too. Uh, just uh, I don't think I can teach anybody else uh, out of character. When do you get to roll again to see if you can teach anyone else, or is it like permanent? I don't know. That is a very good question. Uh, I'll, we can I'll, think, I'll, I think it's like you only get one try. I think that's the cool. thing that comes up a couple of times. Cool. No, we can wait. Yeah, then we'll have to get the technology level up before anyone else knows how to use chainsaw. Uh, I'm, so, I'm, not a, I'm not an expert. I just <laughs> That's all right. So would only ever one person be able to make a uh, comprehend roll then? Like if like Adam does, Good I question. can't. Oh, no. I think uh, it's like no, you can as well. That's fine. I mean, because you might as well try. Yeah. Yeah, you want to take a look at it? You look like you know how to figure a few things out i mean it it works like this and like this i just can't put it into words you know you pull this and you you do this well apparently i comprehend the fuck out of it because i got two successes yeah yeah you so sure I, did. I will go ahead and explain it to ma so ma knows how to use it <laughs> there we go <laughs> <laughs> do, do you um what about those uh those pills you picked up also those are mine oh yeah i guess we can nice. comprehend those you can try and comprehend hey, those those were art well, both artifacts you guys rolled were pills right i was able to teach other people about um i think well at least i know what it does um one of them was uh for like uh, agility based. I'm a comprehensive master. Uh, I You're also really know what these pills do. And I can also tell one other person what they do. So one of them, if I remember correctly, uh, we rolled... Were the energy pills. Uh, we didn't figure out what the stimulants. first set of pills were. Uh, yeah, the first set of pills are antidepressants. Ooh. So when eating these pills, you immediately heal all doubt that you have suffered. Unfortunately... There are only enough pills left for D6 doses. When they are consumed, when you've consumed all of them, discard this artifact. So you have some antidepressants. That's pretty cool. Did we um, determine how many energy pills we had? Because um, I didn't. I seem thought to write we that down. did. I just can't remember what it was. So it's I have a to watch it. It's a D6 dose as well. You want me to re roll it again? Just yeah, so we... please. Okay. Yep. One. It was all about them pills last time. Pills I got here. six for the antidepressant. Are you keeping those to yourself? So those are small enough that you guys don't have to hand them over. Those are tiny. You can hide them in your pocket. Are you keeping those? Oh, yeah. Or are you handing we're... them over to the Ark? Nah. We're, we're distracting them with the big RV so that way we can keep the, the small uh, bottle pills. We're just like <laughs> stuffing things in our pockets. Okay. All right. So let's go through the order of things. Session rundown. One, bring out the zone map character sheets. Da, 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 da. Give each PC a number of mutation points equal to the number of mutations they have. Boom. You all have your mutation points and or your animal points. What are they called? Feral points. Yeah. You reset yeah. down to like one if you've got one mutation, right? Yeah. No, I think you hang on to them. They, uh... they accumulate. They carry session to session. Now, now I'm doubting myself. No, I'm, I'm pretty lands, sure. Lands they do. Okay, cool. Then I'm up to two. Yeah, it's page uh, sixty-nine. It says uh, you can save MP from one section or one session to the next. Well, nice. You can't have you, you can't have more than ten. Cool. Okay. Next, we hold an assembly. And you guys get to initiate new projects. So again, you are called to the theater, the once theater in the Ark within Siren's Cove. And all of the bosses are assembled on stage yet again. We've got Tokter, we've got Sunny, we've got Alcazar, and we've got, who's the other one? Althea. Uh, faces, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to give everybody a little reminder. So Sunny, you are the house um gang right right the bosses uh, the, the house is called or the and the gang is called the house 
I am the boss, and the house always wins. That's right. Because of my sunny disposition. I see what you did there. Uh, then we have Alcazar, who is uh, the leader of the All or Nothing gang, and he is he is your enemy. You are at odds with him. He is the, the alligator crocodile man within the uh, the arc. We also have Tokter, who is a, a kingpin and a, a, a leader of the Pit Bosses gang. And uh, her and Vinny don't see eye to eye. Mm -mm. And uh, they're a weird group that wears skulls over their faces and nobody really sees what they look like. They're a very strange and bizarre little contingent that live within the Siren's Cove. And lastly, we have Althea, who is the bureaucrat and currently acting on behalf of your arch elder Siren, who nobody has seen for quite some time. She has uh, retreated into her uh, her vault that she lives in within the casino, and uh, Althea has become her her voice. And there's a lot of doubt, and people are questioning whether or not this is truly Siren's word or if it is althea making a play to take over siren's My ghost suspicious. so you guys are all gathered there you're up on the stage althea is at the uh at the pulpit pulpit the uh <laughs> <laughs> yes it's a it's a church once again and uh she is uh she's calling a general assembly and asking for ideas on what they should work on next she gives a a progress report that uh, the the defenses were successfully built last time. Uh, there is worry with you guys spreading out and, and, and going into the wilds more and more that you're going to attract attention and bring back uh, possibly negative focus on the arc. So defenses were a good choice for your project last time. And they are looking for ideas on what should be built this time. Do you, four, have anything that you would like to work on next? I want to work on a temple. Because temples provide culture. And we could use some culture here. Yeah, we could all use some culture. Mm hmm Right. A temple to luck, as I like to will propose. To, to, to lady luck? Well, to I the mean, lady love. Yeah, luck. We could even build it right here. I mean, why do you think there's a pulpit? <laughs> uh, right. I mean, didn't they uh, didn't they come and like agree to fight for the rest of their life or something like that? You know, you'd come and you'd like put rings to identify who you were uh, annoying for the rest of your life or something like that. And like, if uh, people didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on declaring that, they just or time they just come here we could we could do a temple like that are you all in agreement to that or do you want to work on different projects i guess my only question is the rv took care of our water problem completely no not at no, all not at all it, not at all it was hoped that it would but mm. it did not do we're such. taking it back uh it's currently in pieces <laughs> We, we have so, all the parts necessary. Been, yeah, we the, just the parts have been thrown yeah. back into the parking garage where Vinny lives. Uh, and it's a matter of Vinny now just kind of put it back together. Yeah, I'll get to it. But, uh, you know, I could also use the parts to make something for us, you know, like... Uh, like a new gun. Yeah, for yeah. His friend, you, for his friend Tarkov. Yeah, you need a gun? I could get you a gun. I think I have a gun. But thank, oh, you thanks, do? buddy. Well, I can make you one. I don't think I need two guns. As much, I mean, anybody else can use a gun, but I think I have a gun. You want a gun, Piper? You want a gun? Wait, <laughs> you got a gun, don't you? No, uh, I've got a bow. Oh, you, well, do you want a gun? Oh. No. <laughs> All right. Well, They'll hear me. Hmm. Uh, so, Sonny, you step forward and you, you, you propose to the general assembly that a temple would be an I a good idea and with that alcazar he balks rah, 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 this is ridiculous with these fools going out there and gaining negative attention i think we should build a militia it is much more important at this time than a, a silly temple that could be done at any point i'm trying to look up the stats for a militia i don't think there is an actual militia is there 
Or you have to have 10 warfare. No, you have to have 10 warfare. Okay. And that's what we got, right? Yeah, that's exactly what we got. So he's he says, we, we need a militia here. These fools in their culture. We can look after that later. We need to protect ourselves. Hey, you! Uh, Vinny, Vinny will stand up. I'm talking to you. Oh, huh. What? What hey. do you want, Grease Monkey? You know, would you oh. would you have liked to have uh, maybe, you know, driven that RV at some point? Or would you like to maybe even make some more? No. No. No? So you don't you don't want to know how to uh you don't want to know how to use anything that those ancients knew how to use? That is not important right now. We must fortify our defenses. Hey, you, you're not listening. Uh you know what? All right. Well, next year you're gonna see me my sundial. <laughs> Actually, we could use one. It'd be good to know how many hours we have to work on something in the day. Look at the sun. Oh, you know what? What time is it? <laughs> I think I'm gonna need an update from you every minute on what time it is. So keep looking at that sun. You can speak to my men about that. Okay. And so he'll let it go, but, uh, yeah. So, um, he is going to try, I'm going to roll a manipulate roll to try and gain the favor of the crowd. And Sonny, <laughs> I want you to do the same thing. And the, the yeah. higher of the two rolls is going to win. Well, you see, the players don't need to agree on one project. I know. Uh, they can build multiple projects at a time. They can. Hmm. Do you want to do or are you are you gonna are you fine with him trying to persuade everybody? I mean, I'll make the roll just because he has challenged me. But uh, <laughs> if it happens to be that we have a militia and a temple going on at the same time, You're... I will not be upset. Sonny would not be upset with that. Why did my roll not happen? Oh, there we go. But he will oh! argue against it anyway. Oh, you get in front of him, Sonny, and you. You, the wordsmith, you just shut him down, and the crowd rallies behind the idea of the temple. No, 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 <laughs> we need to look after our own. We need to build from the inside. We need to We need to expand on what we have. Sit down, Elkazar! <laughs> Targo, Targo <laughs> throws fruit at Elkazar. <laughs> rotten fruit. That he just rotten, cat, rotten cat food that he has that's unedible. <laughs> Even in even in these these mutated times, he hangs his head and he sits down and he's all embarrassed. And Sonny, you're sitting there just like yes, yes. <laughs> and Althea says, "So it's decided. We will work on a temple for the time being. Then you're a smart lady, Althea. It wasn't my decision, <laughs> <laughs> Vinny. It was not my decision. So let's go ahead and we have to roll for our temple, don't we?" Right, it'll be one times the number of player characters. So, and I let us roll five. for Ken when he wasn't here last week. I was or last time I was I was kind. So mm -hmm. we will do the same with uh, Jeremy. So the temple will use either endure or manipulate. Yeah. As so, anyone who wants to help with that project can roll either of one of those skills. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll, I'll help out. I'll help out too. I think I'll, I'll start walking around and trying to drum up business, talking <laughs> to the people in the arc, trying to manipulate them. Oh, that's a horrible idea. That's what I decided to do, though. <laughs> I'm not very likable. Do we do we roll as a group or how does it work? Uh, it was individual last time, from what I remember. You guys each roll individually, and it's like the number Man. of successes. Get added together. Oh, critical fail. Sweet. No, it's just a one. No successes for Ken. <sighs> so we got three successes. Somebody roll for uh, Jeremy. Oh, I have his character sheet. Never mind. We have four so far. Four? We're doing, what was it? Manipulate or... Endure. 
Endure. Oh, I don't think I mind rolled right. My base D6 says zero. Zero D6. Mm. Uh, that's not right. Let me look at your character sheet here quickly. Oh, because you have a zero on your far column. So it should be oh, like the three right column three, should be the number? Two of two. Oh. That's, oh. your, that's your base, and then the first one will go down as you take damage in those. Oh, that would explain it. There we go. It's updated for you. So. Oh, yeah, I was doing it wrong, too, because I would have healed up from my damage, right? Yeah, re-roll. Re anyway, I think Jen's is also wrong. Unless you want to keep your successes. Why is it uh -oh. still doing um, No, you, you allowed us, you allowed okay. it to work in our favor. You know, we re-roll everything. So I got it. Yeah. yeah. Mike's is still oh. buggered. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba, let me roll for the robot. To close out of the sheet and open back up, let's see. Why am I not finding Temple? Oh, what do you need from about the temple? It was know? either manipulate or which one? I'm sorry. Uh, it was endure or manipulate. Because I did endure. Oh. Yeah, nothing. I'm just it. using this roll to do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jeremy's is correct. He's so perfect. He is, isn't he? Perfect, Jeremy. So we've got four. So you guys need ten points to complete it, right? Five. It's only player characters times one. Oh, times one. Oh. Hmm. On that one? I mean, I can push. Oh, uh... no. Times one. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an easier project. Okay, okay. All you need is faith. Yeah, push it. You don't want me to push it. You get mutant points if you do. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'll do, because uh, I got a one and I got a six on my base dice, so I keep those. I reroll the three base dice and then the three skill dice. Chuck, is that you? Nope, no successes. Additional. So, how many points do we have total? Four. Unless someone else wants to push for that last point. I'll push. We could push Jeremy because he's not here. No. Mm -mm. No, I'm I'll kidding. push. I'll push. So Tarka is gonna keep speaking to people, even though they don't want to hear it. And it's uh, manipulate, right? Or endure, whichever you're. Yeah. Higher in. It's manipulate. <laughs> You're a manipulator. <laughs> it's my it's a worst skill, but I definitely decided that's what I was doing. Oh, no mutant yeah. points and no successes. Cool. Um. All right. <laughs> I guess I'm up next. So it's up to you. I've got a one, so I'm definitely going to do that. So oh, wait. I'm rolling one. You took one point of damage. Can I lied? Because you had one on your initial roll, didn't you, under your base dice? I'm just going back and looking at it. Oh, did I? Uh, sorry. Maybe I did. Yeah, I had a one. So you actually need to roll one less die on your re-roll. So you'd roll 2d6 for your base dice. Rather than three, because you you reserve oh, the one, you keep it yep, back yep. on your re-roll. Okay, so I just take a point of damage and don't add any further successes. That's what my roll did. So. And did you also subtract your? Yeah, failures? I did. Okay. Yeah. Would Would I take damage or would I take? Uh, well, re-roll it. No? Re-roll it with okay. only two base dice, and then that will. How do I subtract my own dice? Um, I went down to um, advanced roll and just put in how many base dice and skill dice I had. Oh, okay, that works. Um, and then. The reason I took damage is because I was doing endure. Whereas you'll take. Uh... Hey, there it is. 
There we go. He did Good it. job, Tarkov. That's why you're my buddy. Tarkov was going around. He's recruiting a uh, a priest for the temple. And you found someone. All right. Now I get it. Now I'm, I'm sure the priest is like, feet. thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. You <laughs> oh, he, has big, he has big Elvis glasses. He's not here anymore in the chat. I'm going to say you recruited Mitch Tummers, our new priest <laughs> for the Ark. Our, our good buddy, Mitch. Mitch Tummers. I'm making note. That's that's like 100% uh, their name. That 100% should be his name. Yeah. Mitch Tummers equals priest slash cult leader. Okay. So, you guys start work on a temple within Siren's Cove. Althea addresses the General Assembly after that has been determined and says, listen, things are getting grim and dire with the water situation. We don't have any solutions. We've tried everything we can. We've tried rod eaters. We've tried cleaner, has been able to purify some water, but it's only going to get us so far. Number one priority at this point should be finding a source for clean water. Be it parts for a purification fire or a new well or something we need to find water for the people we also have our guests to the west we don't know who they are but there's been reports of some strange creatures milling about a large metal object over there on the shore of our our little lake to the northwest and sunny one of your stalkers jason came back with a word that he may have found another ark nearby. Perhaps they could be of assistance to us. They might oh. have the parts that we need. That's true. Uh, they might. But uh, do we really want to rely on another ark? We can, but uh, this is just a point I'm making. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, some good things that could come from that, and then there's also some bad things. Never know. Well, the decision is yours. We need people to go out there and find a solution to the water shortage. So if you feel that uh, braving it and just going out there looking blindly is the solution, then go for it. But we have, uh, we know there's another arc, and they're somehow surviving. Have we been able to ask uh, Tarkov if he had any leads or found anything? Tarkov? Yeah, did we ever decide why why Tarkov was going out into the... I mean, he, he was probably just stalking. He was going out to go find an answer to the water purifier initially. That's why you were sent out. That was the story mm. last time. <clears throat> so there's rumor of another arc to the east of here. The southeast. Um... Tarkov, while you were out and about, you did catch a glimpse of some other folks milling about the area. Strange folks in, like, long, flowing robes that were completely covered in, like, metal clasps. And, and they wore skull masks. And they were walking around uh, with other people strung up on, on uh, makeshift devices. And they were carrying them around the wastelands. And they were preaching about this this cult of the silver egg but you didn't uh, uh, that sounds like that sounds like some bad news you, you didn't hear too much they, they there's they're trying to spread the good word about the oracle of the silver egg and where did i see that you ran into them just west of the ark you're crossing okay. the uh the lake there and they were going across the frozen tundra so they're quite close to the ark Ooh. do we want to think about our immediate threat of those those weird people and coming into contact with us or do we want to decide to go after the water well i think the water is the most important but uh maybe the new neighbors would know uh how to get some water and we could kill or two birds with one stone we could end up in a cage again <laughs> well i mean as long as you don't go out by yourself I'm always falling into cages. Hmm. <laughs> don't don't I know? <laughs> what do you all think? Huh? Let's take a vote. Do you guys want to investigate our new neighbors or head west or south to go find a, a solution Let to the water problem? Some X. So 
you ran into cultists. I'll put a C here. Rumor of another arc is to the east. And then you've got the new neighbors question mark. Sightings of some weird creatures and a big metal object poking out of the water to the northwest. The that cult of the suspicious. silver egg, the ark, or the new neighbors. If only we could walk, find a water treatment plant anywhere nearby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not everything on that map is real. Mike figured out where you guys are. I'm not carrying everything everything over mike <laughs> i know i'm being silly <laughs> otherwise i'd be like i know out. exactly where to go guys <laughs> i don't know how you figured that out it was oh, snoopy mean, it's snoopy. Snoopy head. <laughs> yeah yeah uh so yeah what do you think piper well i'm a little intrigued by the uh metal sticking out of the ground yeah, that's too tasty not to go after. Yeah, our new neighbors to the uh, upper corner, not the arc, the other one. Look mm. at you guys. Snoopy, Snoopy's cranium. Snoopy's cranium between two ears. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a great book. Speaking of which, has anybody watched that movie? It's, been, it's great. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I Hilarious. love that show. Yeah. Anyways, I digress. Uh, Sunny. Uh, Sonny thinks that, um, I mean, we got to go for water, right? Because you, know, you can only live so long. We got about a hundred plus people here. You know, that's what he thinks is most important. Because if we're all dead, it doesn't people. matter who our new neighbors are. But, uh, he's still mulling it over whether or not we should go to try to find that new arc and see if they're friendly or, uh, try to take our chances out there. Because, again, he doesn't know what he's looking for. So that's why he's kind of asking Tarkov or any of the other gearheads, like, what are we actually looking for? What's the part? Oh, yeah. So what are we looking for? Is it just like a MacGuffin, sort of? Yeah. Do I need to make uh, some sort of uh, jury rig test? Or... or... Uh, yeah, just Is it just keep playing it. the game? Yeah. It's like, it's like what's inside the case in Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah just keep playing the game. Okay, whatever cool. you want it to be, Vincent. That's what's needed. Unobtainium. Un yeah, un yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, we got the we got the whiz gig. We're missing the whiz gig. <laughs> it's made out of questite. Yeah. I mean, if we if we found some whirly bits, we could get a couple whiz gigs out of it. <laughs> Every time I mean? it shows, he shows it to us. It pans away. <laughs> And we're all like, whoa. Whoa, not that. Oh, That's that crazy. thing. Oh, I've seen a bunch of those, though. Oh, yeah. I ran into those when we didn't need them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, maybe our new, new neighbors would know where um, Whiskey is, you know? Yeah. I mean, they're the closest threat. I think we should definitely at least scout them out. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, be speaking of threat. We got a whole bunch of scrap metal. So, uh, you want me to do anything with it? I'll take another more permanent rot suit. Okay, that'd be some fashioning of some metal. <laughs> rot suits I, for everybody. I don't know if I can... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can come up with. <gasps> oh! Tires. I could make you something out of tires for that. Um, so, as long as you don't tie yourself out. Uh, well, you know, it's all part of the job, right? So I'm going to attempt to make a rot suit yep. for um, Sunny with my jury rig roll. I'm just adding check marks to the map for zones that you guys have already explored. Base dice. I don't know my base dice. The puns they pay me. No, they don't, Chuck. You love them. Yeah, was, you got two All successes. Right. Uh, no, I got three. Oh, look at you. I feel like that's a really good rod suit. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Baseline um, one, you know. So, it's a rod suit. 
it'll stay together. It won't uh, disintegrate on its first use. And uh, it's uh, protection four rating. Protection, nice. that's better than what you rolled last time. It is. It, it is. Are you keeping that for yourself or are you giving it to Sunny? Well, see, the thing is, um, I guess since we reset everything, Sunny still has a temporary one. Didn't it right? fall apart? Oh, no, it didn't. Because we didn't have to test for rot. Yeah, right? yeah, it didn't fall apart. Um, so, you know, if, if we want it to where everyone gets an upgrade, I'll take the one made out of rubber. I'll give mine uh, made out of, like, uh, duct tape and a tarp to Sunny, and Sunny can give the temporary one to um, one of the two. That works for me. Like I said, just more permanent. It didn't have to be the best, the best. I don't know the difference. I don't know, Jerry Rick. In okay. fact, I might feel that it's nice that he's giving me the rot suit off his back. So, I mean, how how many rot suits can can uh, Vin make, like in a in a moment or in this 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 uh, these skill tests? I suppose I could work on more than than one. You know, um, I I think I'd have to make another skill test. But yeah, uh, you made two yeah. last time. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we could have test. another rubber one. Let's see how good this rubber one works out. It, instead of a rot suit, could you make Tarkov like a like a, a spaghetti western metal chest piece, like a piece of body armor? Oh yeah, I can do that. As long as uh, Matt will let me. Yeah. You definitely have the materials with the RV okay. uh, that's been brought in. Like there was armor plating on it, so I, you know, you could cut okay. or hack a piece out. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with you rolling for that. Yeah. This one here, I'll make it to where, uh, you know, it, it looks like a badge from one of their badges. I don't know why they were thinking that they'd go into space with it, but it'll say StarCraft on it. <laughs> StarCraft. Yeah. I know I've seen that on the side of RVs. I'm hoping that's No, bad. it's totally true. Hit it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, oh, that's not good. Do you want Is to it push it? Tarkov's a weird. Oh shape yeah, because uh, skill dice don't count when it right. comes to pushing. Your, fa your failures on the skill yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah, so you're good. Let's, uh, let's do this. So, and so, I will get one skill die and one gear die because uh, Maz rubber band still pretty decent roll. Maz rubber band. Yeah. So you. You make like an iron or metal chest plate for him, strapped together with pieces of leather. Nice. And uh, we'll give you one one point of armor. Nice, thank you. Uh, actually, it the the base is three, but it's only good for one use. Oh, well, there unless you, go. you unless you wish to change that because you're the GM. But uh, it, like out of the book, it's uh... so three damage. But as soon as it hit gets like at hit once, it just kind of falls apart. Yeah, as soon as he uses it. But uh, if you want to give him a one armor piece suit, you can do that too. No, we'll stick with the one use. It's, okay. It's deadlier. So makeshift armor, one use, armor rating three, right? Mm -hmm. Which okay. is really damn high. Yeah. So Tarkov's like, thanks, buddy. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I mean, Pipe, uh, can't I make you something? <laughs> uh, I, don't want, so I don't want you to feel left out. Isn't there a, a low-grade... Rot suit still available since we did upgrades. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I mean, you want something? I got pots. I'm swimming out of my pots. And, and listen, any moment now, that the uh, doctor. Yeah, that bitch talked is going to come and take it all. So we better use it. <laughs> if you don't we know, use it, you and lose we know it. how you don't like dogs. I guess I could use a piece of what? armor. Oh, you want some armor? Okay, I get you some armor. Um, so I'm gonna take apart some of the uh, uh, bedding that's inside there, um, so that she can still move quietly, you know, and uh, uh, make her some padded armor out of it. Okay. 
um, like uh, put it put it inside the cushions that are in the back of this, uh, you know, like a like a couch that they would have built into the wall. <laughs> so so it sounds like you're putting a cat into a pillow <laughs> and yep. letting it just sandwich between the. the and later, I'll crawl cushions. into a bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, here's your armor. Yeah, well, it's winter, so I mean. <laughs> It'd be, be so nice. warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, right. I'm just not doing good. Um, all right. I'm going to push this roll too. Dang. What? How am I not? Did you? I'm not seeing on my screen. Do I need to reload? Did you fail? Uh, I got one success. Okay. You want more than but one? Well, yeah. I mean, I don't want these things to. Is that you're going to take, take a point of damage. <laughs> he's going to he's going to push himself to make this. Uh, you could possibly he's take going damage. Really but, all right, hard. do it. Do it. Yeah, I know. I could possibly but, take damage. So but, you got to uh, keep that six out. So you're only rolling four on your base dice. Just keep that. Yeah, away. yeah. The house always wins. Well, oh, I got, a, my I got God. an extra success. But so, three ones uh, on your base dice. That's all right. You have three mutant points. Yeah. He's, he suffers for his art. <laughs> yeah. How, yeah, what does that look like for you to injure yourself while building this body pillow? For, <laughs> He's like hitting his for... hand. <laughs> so I'm uh, like, I'm trying to figure this out because it's not like she's shaped like an ordinary like mutant, you know? <laughs> she's she got those weird legs that are for jumping and... I, I, I'm so confused because I'm like, okay, this will work. And we put it on and then like she walks around and like shakes her hand and feet every <laughs> step she takes. And it's just, uh, what what am I doing wrong here? <laughs> Sonny wonders if he's been hugging that pillow a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Awesome. All right. So you built that, that snowsuit for Piper. Get <laughs> mittens. <laughs> But uh, it's a, it's permanent armor that uh, is worth a rating of three. Mitch Tummers, you're back. We named our priest for the arc after you. Congratulations, then, uh, you're sele randomly selected. Mr. Tummers. Okay, uh, you know I got a feeling like I need to get some sleep, but uh, I I know that we can't wait forever for the arc to go. So if you want to go, we can go. If go. Uh, Put on your snowshoes, your parkas, your toques, your mittens, and go. Yeah, it's all right. All right. We'll so we're right. going to head, what is it, like G3? H. Yeah. Yeah, you want to head to G3 is your destination. So do you want to go diagonal to G6 from here? Or do you want to make your way through H6? again and see well, if you can run into those cultists again how can, we go di how can we go diagonal because like there's water so would we take a it's boat? frozen it's frozen it's winter water. oh yeah you guys can walk across the lake yeah maybe it's the lake's winter safer. time we won't if run into we had an rv if only you had an rv <laughs> with chains on the tires <laughs> to drive across so that way nice. we could plummet into the Light. Yeah, right in the water. <laughs> a nice warm RV, but we wouldn't have any cushions because we made <laughs> suits out of all of them. We just stand, standing room only. Um, there's still, there's still some left. It's just you won't be able to get on that couch, take a nap on the way. You know, it's really springy now. Yeah. Uh, would would Tarkov is would Tarkov know what is a safer route to go? Or should I just guess? You have not been through G6. So you don't know what to expect there. But you do you do know for a fact when you're out looking for solutions to the water purification uh, problem that you ran into those those folks who were from the order of the silver egg there in H6. So, Well, it would be my opinion to tiptoe around those guys just so we don't have to deal with any of the extended problems from them for now and try to see our new neighbors. But Tarkov will listen to the group. 
especially his boss, Sonny. Listen, Taka, you, you're the stocky here. I mean, you, you know the you know the area better than anyone, or you're going to be able to find the way better than anyone. So uh, I'll leave it up to you. That's your job. Taka, I was like, oh, this place like the back of my hand. Oh, that's new. So he's gonna. We're gonna go. We're gonna go diagonal. Okay. Um, can I use uh, the stalker skill? Find the path. Yes, you can. Yep. This is what they were missing last. Well, they brought Sean with them. I shouldn't say they were missing this last time. And he had a really good roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't yeah. Well, mine's gonna be amazing. And go. Oh wait, base dice. Damn it. Do you want to explain what what find the path does for those folks watching and for the rest uh, of your party? Yeah. So when I do, because I'm a stalker, when I do find the path, um, I whenever I go into a new sector of the zone. I can spot uh, threats and find um, spots that are lower in radiation, uh, or in rot, sorry. Uh, so basically, I can just make it safer for you guys to, to travel around. I can be the ranger, essentially. Nice. So I will the path do this. Least resistance. Yeah, one success. That's all that matters. So I'll take. Oh, that's scary. Right? Um, <laughs> it's all you need. Yeah. Yeah. So I would gonna, not I'm push not, that. Yeah, I'm not gonna push it. Uh, <laughs> There's no need to. I would. I would uh, advise against pushing that roll. But I want. I want those stunts. The sweet, sweet stunts. Those sweet stunts. Just kidding. I'm good with that. So I find a safe path and spot any threats in the zone before they spot me. Wow, look at all those ones. Um, yeah, so you guys head out. You bundle up. It's cold. It's frigid. It's freezing. You're going out into the barren open. You're going across the lake. There's no windbreaks or anything here. So the wind is just ripping across the yeah. ice. And you guys are shaking. And you're cursing going out here. Oh, Jackological. Thank you for the uh, for them bits. The cheer, Jack. I haven't seen you for a long time. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, thanks, Jack. We used to run games together over on uh, Praetor's Rejects. We did D&D 5e over there together, and I have not seen or talked to him since, and he is good people. Nice. Good to have you here, Jack. Thanks, so you guys Jack. head out. You're wearing plastic bags on your feet for shoes, so it's even worse. He's slipping and sliding, and it's freezing. <laughs> Tarkov's wearing one on his head. Yeah. He doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> He's whipping yeah, it's whipping just... in the wind. But you guys set out. Are you taking any of your people with you, uh, Sonny? Nah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I mean, I got Tarkov with me, right? Yeah, they're right. busy. They're you busy the... working on our new church to Snoopy. So yeah, yes. I mean, Lady Luck <laughs> to our Snoop Dog Temple. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hello, Jack. It's good to see you again. Tabletop to keyboards here. All right, so you guys head on out and uh, Tark. I want to call. I almost call you Ken Tarkov. Tarkov, you're you're there, and there's not really no cover. There's nothing to hide behind. It is just a barren, open, freezing tundra that you're going across. Um, you know, you're walking here and there, and there's there's a little bit of fear that you know that the ground is gonna crack. You're you're worried that you're gonna fall through. Uh, but that doesn't seem to happen. Though you do find the deeper you get into this, or the further into the lake that you get. Um, the rot levels are rapidly rising. And as you mm. know, your water is contaminated by rot. And that is part of the problem with what's happening right now is you guys are not able to filter the rot out. So you're heading into a very, very <clears throat> rot heavy area and you cannot really find any way around it as you get deeper and deeper in. So there's mm. no like way to skirt around this because you're going right to the center, the deepest part of this this lake and it seems to be where this is emanating from this rot can tarkov tell if it's coming from where we're heading or if it's coming from the northeast uh it seems to be coming from the lake itself oh, okay and that's why your uh -oh. your water supply supply is rotten and that's why your purifier is so crucial critical right now uh but you guys are on the shore so the rot levels aren't high there so you guys aren't eating rot every day living in the arc where you're at it's uh it just seems to be getting worse and worse as you're getting to the center of the uh the lake 
Hmm. So this is going to be a rot level of <laughs> rot row, a rot level of two, which means you suffer one rot point per hour. And it takes an hour, four hours to traverse a new square. Oh dear. So I'm oh. gonna eat that. Oh my. You need a rot eater. So as you're also <laughs> crossing this tundra, you make out in the distance a line of people. It looks like, oh, it's about a dozen people walking in a straight line across the frozen lake. And again, they seem to be holding up or propping up this like makeshift kind of like stockade and 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 in it is is it looks like there's a person hanging in and you make it out and you you see that it seems to be those cultists that you ran into south of here before so i i i like as you guys are deciding what you wanted to do i was literally rolling a random encounter and it came up on the table as the same thing I was like well i'm gonna go with it because i mean that makes here. sense yeah that's cool <laughs> Uh, can Tarkov sight down his his scrap rifle and, and get a better look at uh, the sort of the pr procession there? Yeah, definitely. So you're looking down your rifle, and they all look like they're dressed like like this. They're all wearing like these Whoa. They're covered Whoa. and studded in like metal. They have like these. They're wearing human skulls over their faces. Um, That's pretty normal, though. We're used to that. Yeah, kind of. Uh, they're 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 painted. <laughs> They seem to be, um, some of them are armed. The There's two in the front and two in the back that have, like, long-range rifles, similar to what you're carrying. Uh -oh. um, Rot -rot. And they just, they're just marching. Marching in a straight line. With so they don't look, it seems. They, okay, they don't look like they're looking for trouble. They look like no, they've got a place no, they're no. going. No, 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 they're a procession, it looks like. Okay, um, Tarkov's going to sort of lean into the group and explain to them what he saw. Um, and... He's going to just tell them the facts. He doesn't want to give his opinion on what they're doing. Well, uh, how All many right. of them are there? There's a dozen. Oh, shit. This is the beauty of having a stalker and passing it there. Find the path. You guys don't get surprised by things also. So essentially, we can choose to... Avoid it. Avoid it. Yeah. <laughs> Look for trouble. <laughs> Yes, you know, engage it or avoid it. I guess essentially, of yeah. The choices. Are you gonna? Well, you don't even know if they're trouble though. You haven't encountered these guys before. Um, but yeah, you don't. You don't know. It's up to you which way you want to go. Well, uh, I don't know. They look pretty scary. I mean. I think we just let them pass, and then they do their thing, and then we do our thing. So we'll just dog leg behind them and keep moving. Everybody looks scary in this world. It's true, yeah. Except Tarkov. Except Friendly. Tarkov. He's Friendly, a very good, pl good looking pleasant dude. looking chap. Yeah. I mean, maybe if Ma were here, I mean, we had a couple of grenades in the barrel, <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... There's nothing else to really encounter out here. There's no houses. There's no nothing. You guys are crossing a lake, so we're not like rolling for like. Artifacts do we need to like, that. like sneak behind them, or do we just we just wait? You can you just know? wait. You kind of hunker down. There's like snow drifts have built up a little bit here and there, and you're just kind of like hunkered down, laying low, laying as flat as you can, um, trying to stay out of sight. You so, guys uh... got the jump on them, so they haven't spotted you. Tar Tarkov's going to look at the group and make like a bang bang face and be like or I'll look at uh, Sonny and Piper uh, I'm going to look back and try to signal how many were there and he's going to do this <laughs> and then he's going to keep doing this Yeah, so uh, it seems like the let them pass, uh, let them go uh, is the idea. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna keep moving up the up the map to the sure. next uh, the next zone towards our new neighbors? Question mark. So the rot level. Don't forget, one rot per hour. That was four hours you spent there. Oh, when do we when do we consume our our grub and water? When is that? 
That happens once a once day. a day. So it's up okay. to you. You've you've only been up for four hours, so you don't necessarily need to eat now. You can if you want. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Guys, um, this was totally worth it. It was so good. Yeah. And they're all looking at you <laughs> like, hey, save it. <laughs> we we can still see the arc from here. <laughs> I think I'll eat it now. <laughs> um. All right, so we'll just keep moving. Uh, do yeah. I need to do another find the path, or is that just like the whole sector? Nope, you do because you're moving into G five now. G five. Okay. So you need to roll for G five. Well, uh, don't we need to roll for our rot points? Yeah, roll for your rot points. Rot, rot. How do you so, roll for rot points again? Um, or do we roll once we hit twenty four hours? Uh, nope. That's on a that's on a rating of one. He said the rating oh, right. was two. Um, so, uh, can you, you don't have any rot suits, so you just gain yours automatically. <laughs> oh, really? Um, I don't roll for it? It's just well, like... um, you'll roll, you roll rot points. So, so, uh, it's a decent, Matt, if you right? don't mind, yeah, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll try and lead us through it. Sure. Go okay? ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, first hour, uh, those that have rot suits under advanced roll, put three in gear. Um, and then roll your roll that dice. And then if I don't have it, um, you will put a point into rot points. Okay. And that's weird. It didn't come up right for me. Everything has rot. Good thing you didn't hit a, a hot spot where you gain one yeah. run every minute. Yeah. Um, so this is another thing to keep in mind. This is another thing. You know there's something in this river, I was going to say, lake contaminating it. So this is another plot hook. Think about another possible mission. There's something in here. Okay. Yeah, rotting this thing to the quickly. core. Yeah. All right. So what happened with Mike's role is his uh, rot suit took a point of... Uh, gear reduction and so now he's rot suits worth two and i put i took two points of gear reduction so now my rot suits worth two and if anybody listening knows these rules or ken knows uh you can correct me on this so now my rot suit has a two rating and so does uh uh Tr uh sunny um and then jen uh or piper you would get to make one advanced roll with three gear dice. Yes. And uh, so your suit dissolves. Um, and I, nothing. Yeah. So everybody here got one rot point. Oh, I gained four rot points because I get... Well, well no, oh, we're I just can... doing the first hour. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, so then so every... Every time you take a rot point, you need to roll to resist it. Right. Oh, that's right. So, and then, so the rot point is there. And when you get to back to the arc, you can like scrub yourself clean and try to decontaminate. Um, yep. And you have to roll for every rot point you have. And mm -hmm. if you roll a, a one for each one that you have as you're decontaminating, you, you keep it permanently. So these are all temporary right now. Like these aren't for sure. Yes. There's still a way to scrub yep. the rot clean from you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then uh, I'm rolling for my first hour, and I rolled a one, so I take a point of damage. So I'm down to one strength left. Ooh. That's right. All of a sudden, Vincent's just going to drop. He's going to be just convulsing on the ground. Do you actually see anything that I actually rolled? I hover over your boxes and they're all blank. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. That's fine. Because you should have had sure. three in your gear dice. I'm going to bring up your character sheet. I'm looking at Tarkov's right now. Uh, da, 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 da. So did you use the advanced roller, Jen? Yeah, I did. Oh, you have to have a three in the second box. You have to have three this in both one. of those. Oh, no, that's total successes. No. Do you guys mind if I roll my four rot points that I'll be getting? Just like, just go as, for it. Yeah, yeah, just go for it. Okay. Yeah, just roll one after another. And roll so four sixes, you're you're fine. Yeah. Um, uh, 
so Jen, I I rolled it and it worked. So try Whoa. it again. Click the click the uh, the dice icon at the top right hand corner of the advanced roller. Yeah, so it worked there for you. Okay, thank you. Mm. So you got a one. Does that mean her yep. suit disintegrates, um, Adam? Or... Uh, yeah, it disintegrates even if she got all those successes because it was a temporary use suit. So you gain one rot. Go ahead and just roll them, everybody, and just let me know what you end up with. I basically swam in rot, and then I'm fine. <laughs> I'm used to that dirty, dirty lifestyle. That's right, as a stalker. Yeah. I'm basically drinking it. I'm drinking straight from the lake. Well, did you... Uh, yeah, you rolled your up points, so you should have taken a point of damage, Mike. So now we're on to the second hour. <laughs> and I'm going to... Yeah. Roll for my rot suit. And it broke down one point more. And I take another rot point. So because I took a rot point, I roll a d6 for every rot point I have. And I'm okay. Yay. And Mike's okay. So Jen, you will take a second point under rot points and then roll the die in the upper right. And I have no armor left, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. no suit. Okay. No rot suit, no. Your pillow disintegrated. Uh oh. You took two rot points. Uh so yeah, you took two damage to strength. Please tell me it doesn't drop. So off. rot always hits strength, or does it yes. can it go after anything else? Yeah, yeah rot yeah. always hits strength. Oof. Because like social conflict always takes away like uh doubt and empathy, right? That was mm -hmm. called doubt and something else. So Sunny, you're at two or three. Piper's going to be at one of three. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. I'm looking at your character sheets real time as you update them. Yeah, so hour three for anybody that still has any rot suit stuff left. Uh, well, at least it didn't break on me. Um, Uh-oh. Who's that? That just rolled Mike? You lost another one? Yep. The Why suit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The suit's not doing anything. And the Piper. goggles, it did not mean. <laughs> Piper lost another one. Ugh, Adam it's lost two. Piper in. drops. Yeah, I'm broken. Well, damn it. I'm literally watching people fall around me. <laughs> and that was hour three. They're foaming at the mouth. They're vomiting uncontrollably as the <laughs> rot takes over. I'm like, are you guys okay? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so what are you gonna do, um, Tarkov? Uh, so I need to just, just from not a game point, from like a fluff point of view, is everyone basically fall like fall into the ground and like useless? Except for you and Sunny. I think. So question. Okay, so you take it per hour. So yeah. then it'd be it'd be one dice, two dice, three dice, four dice, right? Right. Yeah. So does Ken need to roll one, two, three, and then four d6? Yes, he does. Yeah, I already did. Yeah. No, you, you just rolled roll d6 once. What's that? Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Cumin to live. Cumin to live. Because that's what's been screwing us over is that it's been mm -hmm. cumulative, right? It's not just like, oh, okay, we've been here for four hours. You take four points. Yeah. Well, you take four points, and then you roll a d6 for each point. So should we have been rolling cumulative, or should we just been... No, no, no. You just you just do one for every... It's not. It's, it's like one, every hour one is for one. every hour. So it's only you only roll 4d6 in total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, so we just need to roll 4d6 instead of one, two, of... three, and then 4d6. Okay, yeah, so a... you, you, you suffer a rot point every hour, right? Yep. So then every time you suffer a rot point, you must immediately roll a number of base dice equal to your total amount of rot points. So we would have suffered it at the first hour, so we rolled one. We'd have suffered it at the second hour, so then we rolled two, unless we resisted somehow. And then we suffered it at the third hour, then we'd roll three. And we'd suffer it at the fourth hour, then we roll four. Every time you suffer That's a rot point... I'm, I'm, yeah, you're reading it verbatim from the book also, right? Every time yeah. you suffer a rot point, you must immediately roll 
a number of base dice equal to your total amount of rot points. Oh, so if you have a rot point from the last hour, you have to. Oh, I see what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Got it. So only if you failed one. If you didn't resist it, you have a, a rot point, right? No. Yeah, if you didn't resist with your suit, you you have a rot point, and then you test to see if that rot point damages you. Right. Okay. So, so. that. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're right. That, so it's only if you failed you're going to be rolling all these d6s. Yeah, and Ken has to fail because he doesn't have any rot suit. Um, yeah. Gotcha. So, so, so wait a minute. So I'll I'll do this over then. Okay. I get what you're saying. So one is fine. I pass, but then I get two. So then I have to roll two dice. Right. Does this automatically roll my dice for me when I do it? Boop. Yeah, dice. but you got You got to hover over it because it for some reason this one is totaling them. So but you, you got a three and a three. You got a three and a three. You're fine. You're so good. Fine. Um, then the third so now, I do, hour. now I do three. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Who, who my did, my god. Who didn't drop? Let me ask you that. Boop. Okay, you're good. You got a two, a three, and a two. Told you. I eat this stuff. I just open my mouth, so I'm gonna get it. Uh so now four dice. This is gonna be the bad one. Oh, uh, you got two ones. Two ones. So I take two points of damage. Yeah. Two points of strength damage. So Mike, it's actually you're fine. At one, Jen's fine. So at the end of this, I'm standing with one strength. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Um, All right. So if you're well, at zero out of three, what does that do? You drop. Oh. Yeah. You're yeah. unconscious. You're not dead. You don't gain a critical injury. <laughs> All of a sudden, your arm just falls off. No, you just you're unconscious. <laughs> So you need to be healed back up. Uh, and that usually happens through resting. All right, I'm so licking myself, right? <laughs> yeah. So we have to take this Shackleton's adventure and bring it all the way back to the Ark. <laughs> well, um, um, unless you use the heal ability to fix somebody who's broken. Yeah. Which I have. So... I'm also going to put... Uh, I can do some heals. You now know there's Oof. a rat level of two on the map there. For future reference. Oh my god, you can't afford to push that, can you? Oh yeah, you can. It'll just hurt your empathy. Yeah, and so I would uh, reroll the all the skill dice to keep the one yes. base die, right? Yeah, you'd roll three no. base dice and re-roll all of your skill dice. Oops, not your dice. Oh, you put the R2 there for us. Thank you. You're welcome. Nope. You're a good DM. <laughs> I, I try. No successes, and I take two empathy hits. But you gain <laughs> two mutation points. And you can take those. Oh, wait, no. Is empathy? No, it's doubt for the antidepressants. Never mind. Okay. So Piper has dropped. Um, Sonny is doing all that he can. He's like, I just, I can't do it, guys. Not out here. Not in these conditions. Yeah, and uh, I can't if, do it. If Tarkov wanted to try, even if he doesn't have the skill, he can roll his base dice. He'll try. He'll he'll use his empathy. He'll try. Um, so it's three base dice. Oh, oh he has one success. Let me just do there. Nothing. Nothing rolled. I'm hovering over it. Yeah, that was weird. This character sheet seems to be acting funny tonight. It's super weird. Um, so I'm just going to go three base dice like this and do it. Does that work? Do it, do it. You got a three, a two, and a one. Do you want to push it? Hell yeah, I'm going to push it. At yeah, this, point, what's, this is what's for the Piper. Point? So I rolled two base dice now, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Give us a six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> bam oh my god no nope. jesus that was bad bam. jesus <laughs> Whoa, you took oh wow three points of damage to your <laughs> <laughs> i think Did you, you dropped me. yeah i what? dropped yeah, yeah. <laughs> just use me as a sled it's okay literally so the last man standing yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right so he starts dragging people back to the ark then <laughs> Sonny, you, you start, you, you take some twine or rope or whatever you've got and you start 
you tie them all together and you start dragging them across the ice and you're having a tough time. It's hard, even though, you know, it's slick. Tarkov's face down. His face is grinding against the snow and ice. <laughs> Covered in snow. Yeah. You, uh, you're walking back and you're looking down. Your, your eyesight's it's starting to go a little blurry. Uh, the, the sun is shining down and it's hitting you. You feel like you're getting a little bit of the effects of snow blindness from the bright sun hitting the, the ice and the snow in front of you. And you start to fade a little bit and you're pulling them and you're looking straight down. And then you look up. And you see that procession is like almost upon you. And they're moving in your direction. Put your hand up and be like, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, am, am I still in that zone? Yeah, you're still in that zone. Well, then I got to keep moving or else I'm going to drop uh, here. You're, well, say, you say you're on the edge of it. It, it only takes you 45 minutes to get out of it, wasn't it? Once you've been through it once. So it's not even going to take you an hour. Right. So you'll, so you'll get out of it before a Camp Crystal Lake. Yeah, uh, I would want to get back to the arc zone before I decide to like take a bit of a rest. Otherwise, it's just like, oh, no, right, I'm out. So you get closer, <laughs> and they're, they're standing there. They're standing in a line, and you're heading towards them. And uh, one of them steps out of the middle, and uh, he, he calls out. He raises his hand. He goes, Hail, brother! You look like you're in need of assistance. Can we help you? Uh, sure. I got, uh, <laughs> some cool. folks here that, uh, well, the rot's gotten to them a bit, so, uh, oh. I'm looking to take them. Dear. Uh, to get shall some we, aid. Shall we? Can we take you back to, to the Oracle? Perhaps he can... Look over them and heal them. Uh, is the oracle amongst you? No, no. Lord Zechariah is back at the shrine. Ah. Have you heard well, the good word of the silver egg? Uh, I have heard of its existence, but not of its words. Come. They no eggs could speak. Come, brother, come with us. We will take you in, we'll shelter you, we'll make you warm, and we'll feed you. Well, you see that, uh, and I'll point in the direction of the uh, of the uh, casino hotel. Oh, uh, yes. That, that's actually where I'm. Uh, that's where I'm going. So oh, uh, you're from there, brother. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, uh, that's at least where I'm heading. Can we join you? Uh, well, I we mean, will, we will ensure safe passage. We will help carry your burden. It looks like you. Siren's Cove uh, is known for its inclusivity. Uh, we do take all kinds. Oh, excellent. Perhaps we could spread the good word of the Order of the Silver Egg there. Well, uh, sure. I mean, I ain't gonna stop you. Do you have a temple, perhaps? We <laughs> do have a temple. Uh, oh. We were, we, we were thinking, well, we could always make another, right? Oh. Yes, we will talk to your local holy man, and perhaps we can work out a deal. Yeah, he's new. I qu don't quite remember what his name is, but Mitch uh, Tummers, I believe Mitch is his name. He's a good guy. He's a good Mr. guy. Yeah, he's Mr. good people. Tummers. <laughs> Rum Tum Tummers. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, we've heard of of Rum Tum Tummers. Ah, uh, yes. And he he raises his hand and he he points to his men. He says. Help this man! He is in need! Lighten his load. He carries a heavy burden. And they scuttle over. Again, there's a dozen of them. So, four of them come on over, and they pick up the, the, the three of them, and they start carrying them, and they're not dragging across the snow face down anymore. And <laughs> so the, uh, sudden, the sudden lurching Tarkov vomits on the... One of, the guys. one of the uh the one of the helpers <laughs> he can't help it yeah it's a violent rooster tail yeah, of, of they, blood and bodily fluids they seem unfazed by this they are just happy to to serve and then he also he also <laughs> hugs them <laughs> all right so the 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 one who seems to be in lead here he he walks with you sonny oh my name is artemis i am a spreader of the good word of the silver egg have you you said you've heard of us. What do you know of, of us, brother? Uh, just that uh, one of the guys saw you a bit south of the, the lake. Oh. But uh, that's about it. Uh, Is he a believer? 
brother? Well, he, he believes you exist, at least. Uh, I didn't ask him. Oh, you should. I don't like to him. talk much about religion to people, but uh, <laughs> I mean, you're doing me a solid, so uh, sure. You should come meet. Oh, listen. You should come meet the great one, Zechariah. He's a holy yeah. man. That might be something we could uh, arrange in the future. Mm -hmm. But uh, the more immediate pressing matter is uh, getting these fine folk uh, oh, right, arrested, right? Right. Show us the way to your ark, to this Siren's Cove. Yeah, it's right over there. Sure, and they help. They're dragging them in with you, and you get to the gates, Sonny. And there's people up on the, you know, they're up uh, on the gates, and they're, hey, it's Sonny, it's Sonny, he's with a bunch of weirdos. Do we let them in? <laughs> oh, it looks like, it looks like Tarkov and Piper and Vincent are, they're hurt. So there's a couple yeah, of, uh, couple of in, guards just... standing up on, uh, up on the wall, and they've got their guns trained at you, Sonny, and they're like, Sonny, Sonny, is it okay? Do we let you in? What's, what's happened? Yeah. Did they attack? Yeah. Did they attack there's you? There's something, no, nah, th no, nah, there's something in the lake. It's, uh really rotten it's uh I, I don't know like my guess is something maybe on the other side maybe they're pumping something into the lake but uh yeah there's something rotten in that lake but these are good people you trust the okay and the, the door <laughs> all right the gates open. well if Son Sonny's I mean, one of the bosses if sunny says so they gotta be on the level i mean they didn't kill me and take our stuff so uh you know the gates open yeah. and people they they run over and they they start looking over Piper and Vincent and Tarkov and they bring them but not, inside. But not Tarkov, everyone but Tarkov. And everyone, they throw Tarkov <laughs> yeah. in a cage. They just put out him in the, the cold. <laughs> yeah, I'll have one of them run back and get get the house to, to yeah, show yeah. up just in case. But uh... yeah, so they they scuttle you guys off and uh, you guys are looked after here. You're nursed back to health and fed and all that, but you now have you now have these these twelve, these twelve people from the order, maybe you'd call it a cult of the silver egg. <laughs> now in your ark, you've showed them the way to your ark, and you've welcomed them in. These outsiders. Uh oh. And they ask a lot of questions, and they poke around a lot, and uh, they they seem to make themselves at home. If they 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 mark their their territory in there and uh it's hard to get rid of them it seems after we'll say a day passes and you guys are all back to health because that's all it takes is to rest for whatever it is four hours or eight hours or six hours and you're back to full stats so you all gain your stats back and you're back at square one you're like all right well we're back at the ark and that uh that didn't really pan out now we got these weird cultists in here it's uh, nice to get away from the ark even for an hour yeah <laughs> <laughs> four or four four is too yeah. many yeah. um so I Let's look like see. a skeleton. We can choose to wash ourselves, right? Yes, so you can do the decontamination now. When you're back in the Ark or take refuge in another rot-free area, one rot point will leave your body every day. If you wash your body in a clean water, half your rot points rounded up go away immediately. All right, so Tarkov's going to group shower. <laughs> so every time you are about to lose one rot point, roll one base die. And for every one you roll... That rot point remains. So, okay, so we do the shower first to get rid of two? Yeah. Okay. When you're contaminated by rot, there is a risk it'll stay in your body forever. So every time you are about to lose one. So I'd say even showering or whatever <laughs> you do. So it's every, every time you're about to lose one rot point, roll okay. one base die. So would we roll would we roll two for the the the, the half from the shower? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So um, you're you're fine, Vinny. You you're rot free. That's good. You are also rot free, Sunny. Is it rot well permanent rot free? I still have two on me though, right? Because the washing only gets rid of half, right? Right. You wash your body clean, water, half your rot points rounded up, go away immediately. Yeah. Well, and you just rolled, I guess, for the other two. Is that we're not what we're doing? Or is that we're rolling for the two that we're okay. rid of right now? There's a risk you'll stay with your body forever. Every time you're about to lose one, roll one base dice. So I guess, yeah, you, you automatically lose two. Piper. No, Mike. Sorry. 
Right, so I would roll for the next two, yep. and then I would I end up having one now permanent rock point. One permanent rock point. Piper's fine. Tarkov yep. retains I, one permanent rock point. One permanent. Wait, that makes you, sense. You rolled four, though. I did? Yeah, it says... Uh, oh, no, sorry. I'm looking uh, at the wrong thing. Hub rolled there's a, Yeah, well, there's a permanent like one here, and so I keep thinking that everybody rolled what won't go away on my roll 20. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So think every time you're out in a high rot point area, you're, you're going to always have that rot point with you, Sunny and Tarkov. Yeah. So no matter what our rot points stay at one, if I have one, or do yeah. I just put permanent one and zero at rot points? Permanent run one. And then when you're out there, say like, remember how it's compounding every hour, you're always going to have that one with you. So, you so I'll never, I'll never go back to one. Exactly. Exactly. Man, when I when I played this, Ooh. it was way more like hand wavy, oh. uh, <laughs> and that's just that's just on me when we first started. But it's funny because it's like it's so uh, it's funny to be like, oh yeah, this is all very important for a survival game. It, it is. It is pretty yeah. critical because this I'm will cur- never go away, and it's just going to get harder and harder to go out into yeah. the zone from here on yeah. out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I have a feeling. Um, because it leaves hints. I have a feeling there are ways to get rid of permanent ones, but uh, that's probably through story or something. Um, but I could be wrong because I won't read the back, I won't read the back of the book. And there's so. yeah, there's also um, there's ways around it. There's rot eaters. There's oh yeah yeah. And also going through zones. Now it's going to take you forty five minutes to get through there, so you're not even going to be in there for an hour next time you cross through it. Oh nice yeah. And, like, if I had gotten a stunt on my know the zone, I would have been able, with my talent, to cut the time in half. So instead of four, right. it would have been two. So, so that's, that's why I was like, I was like, I should have gone for the roll. But I've been rolling, like, DS, so. It's all right. We got off nights. Um, so then, and we got friends now. Yeah, yeah. we do. The Silver Egg fellas. Yeah. Um, so then do we, uh, did we stay here a whole day? Yeah, I'm gonna say you stay there a whole day, and, and you got your all of your dice back, like all of your stats are all, all back to full. Okay, and then um, they, so if we stayed a whole day, there, there that there would be a third rot point that would go away on its own. Yeah. Okay. Good so I'm gonna test for that. I did test it to where if you have zero rot points but one permanent and then roll a dice, it doesn't roll that actual one dice. You still have to put one in, in rot points. Yeah, that's, that's what I did too. I just left it at one. Rot. Oh. I got close there. I rolled a two. Yeah, this game is definitely deadly. Okay. So, you it's, guys are it's now actually. Fixing- oh. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no. What were you gonna ask? I was just gonna say it's 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 so weird. Like the digital character sheet makes it so much harder than it needs to be. Mm-hmm. It's weird because I find some games it makes it so much easier because it does the math and all that for you, and it's just a matter yeah. of looking the macro. And some of yeah. them, depending on how they're programmed. So this wasn't my favorite of the ones available, but it, it looks really one good. That had the robots, the humans, yeah, and yeah. the animal people on it. So it's a little clunkier. Yeah. But yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, we were ill prepared, it seems. So, so Althea greets or goes up to the, the the four of you, and she's like, "What happened? You guys set out, and you had a you were on a mission to go find out uh, who our new neighbors were, and hopefully fix our water problem. And now you brought back these weirdos who who we can't get rid of. They keep talking about the silver egg. Yeah." Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely unfortunate. But uh, yeah, as we were walking through the middle of the lake, uh, it just the the rot level got higher. So I think there's something rotten in the water, you know. So that's probably why the water purification ain't working so well, right? Oh. So I don't know if it's whatever the other people on the other side are doing to it, but. Uh, I think this time we take the the shore or the long way around and uh, we avoid the lake as much as possible. Uh, sure. Fuck up. No, it's an agreement. Um, so the Silver Egg people tell you where they are found. They're over on H5, and that's why they're in this area wandering around. 
Snoopy's right ear. Snoopy's right ear. ear. Mm-hmm. No, you could you could find us. You could find Zachariah there if you were heading to go investigate. We've seen those strange people. They're weird, weird lizard people who are who are on some sort of metal object. It seems it is it is broken in there. There they built fires and they they just sit there and and yes yes strange strange lizard creatures. We don't know what they what they want, but they are not interested in the in the order of the silver egg. We have tried and they've shot their bullets at us. So they shot at you? Do they, they at least talk at to you first? How dare they, brother? Hmm? We say we are, we we save lives. We change lives. <laughs> So when you went there, um, did they at least talk to you first, or did they just shoot first? They shot first. Ah, oh. so they ain't friendly types. Not well, you order. know, not like they, you, brother. Maybe uh, we found you. We brought you salvation. I'll say in hushed tones. Uh, maybe it's because uh, uh, you know they had skulls on their faces, and <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe yeah. we'd have a little bit of better luck. I mean, if it's reptile people they want, uh, maybe this is something Alcazar can look into. That's right. His whole crew is like reptile amphibian people. Yeah. I mean, uh, our our uh, our elder is sort of reptilian. Sort of. Yeah. Well, a, cl- a close cousin of reptilian. She was what a salamander. Yeah. Or no, like a yeah, kind of. Yeah, I think like she a was a salamander. Person. Yeah, like, like a something. snake person. Yeah. Okay. Oh right. boy. Tarkov's so, feeling super gun shy about this about this <laughs> expedition now. So uh I think I should probably uh fix some rot suits and make some more, huh? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. He sort of looks at his armor and is like, I just need a rot suit, I guess. Alright, so let's uh get this done. New day, new rot suit. <laughs> like they oh. say in the arc, new day, new rot suit. Yeah, so I guess I'll uh, roll to repair um, my rot suit. No, let's make the new ones, because at least mine still has one rating. I'd rather um, see if I... Yeah, mine still has two. It just failed to do okay. anything positive. All right, so we're going to make one for uh, old Piper. Yeah, see if it uh, stays. Um, see if it uh, stays. I think we got some more rubber. Oh, hoses. Yeah, we can make use these hoses. You know, they'll they'll fit around her like little paws and Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> she she kinda plays with them a little bit and then lets yeah. it proceed. <laughs> All right. Um Matt, well Adam's rolling for this stuff. Can Tarkov uh sort of investigate the, the silver egg and sort of, you know, chum up with them? Yeah, you go over there while he's, while he's uh, healing up. They're happy to speak to people. Oh one of the ones we brought salvation to. Hello. He, so he, he asked for like the spiel, like uh, what's, what is the silver egg itself? The silver egg is a glorious object that fell from the sky bearing our, our leader, Zechariah, and he is here on earth, on our, on our world now to spread the good word. Hey again, he came from space, from the he, sky? Yeah, he came from the sky, he fell from the sky in his egg. Oh, that is strange. Yes, and he has... He has powers, and he heals those, and he spreads. He spreads his word and his love among, around the zone. Tarkov pauses and then asks, "What don't you guys like? What don't we like? Non-believers. Are those people you strung up non-believers? Yes, they came. They came to the Silver Egg." And they tried to take it. They tried to attack it. And by the word of Zacharias, we took them and we strung them up and made example of them for the rest of the zone. Uh, that sounds like a really good idea. You're not wrong, brother. Well, that's all I needed to know. So this guy, this Zachariah, uh, he falls from the sky in the silver rig, right? Yes. Uh, is is he one of them humans? He is. He is a man. He has the form of a man. Interesting way to put it. 
Well, I didn't know if he was, uh, you know, because, I mean, we don't know where they went. Maybe they were up in the stars, and he's the one that came back. What? You're crazy. I see Vincent's not doing so well over there. <laughs> no, no, no. So I got to explain the order of things so you don't. Yeah, so. Uh, zero, 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 one, 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 one. I'm seeing a lot of red. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so let's see here. That first one was incorrect. Um, so then I, I rolled for Piper's suit, um, got one success. And because it was on, there was a gear dice, I wouldn't want to break Ma's rubber band. I didn't push it. So Piper, you've got a temporary suit. Um, then I rolled for a suit for Tarkov. And I was like, OK, let's push it. And I won't use the rubber band. And I didn't get any more successes. And I uh, rolled two on my base dice. So I took two points of confusion. And then I was like, wait a minute. When you push, you have to roll all dice. You can't just suddenly take them away. So then I rolled that one gear die and rolled a three, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, so Tarkov, out of all that, has one temporary rot suit. I have a sweater um, vest rot suit. Yeah. A sweater vest. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to repair my gear. And um, I rolled for that um, and decided not to push it. And then um, I rolled to repair uh, Sonny's gear and got one in everything. And so I decided not to push that. Gotcha. So, and all be all out of all that crafting, I got two temporary suits, one for Piper, one for um, Tarkov, and I was able to re repair one of my one rating on my rot suit. Thank you, Vinny. Thanks, Vinny. And you said you did repair my suit or not? I was unable to because that's the three okay. uh, zeros that has all those ones, and I decided. So, so maybe you got the sweater vest. Yeah. That's fine. He uh, he 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 leans to you and he says, Zechariah, he he shares his powers to 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 let you see visions, all sorts of manner of things. It'll open your mind. You should you should you should visit him. Hmm. Oh, and there's more ones from Adam. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yes, you'll see all sorts of wonderful things the future how great it could be if we spread the word of zachariah yeah um <laughs> perhaps uh in a, at a future time right now the current mission is uh to take a look at those folks on the other side uh get a bearing on uh, what they're doing those non-believers non he is quite a. Is there anything that he could do here, possibly for your arc? Perhaps he could set up here. Perhaps we could we could bring the egg here, maybe, and he could set up in your within your walls. That'd be something that needs to be discussed during the assembly. Um, you see, we we're a very diplomatic group here. Maybe we and, speak uh, to this assembly next time it gathers. Uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll see. I mean, you it's see uh, we got we we're a pretty inclusive group here. But uh, you seem to be an yeah. important man here, Sonny. Perhaps you could put in a good word for us. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know, and normally this is something we bring up to our elder, but uh, they're a bit missing in action. So I'm sure word of, word of mouth will get around about you. A good word. Go of on more. Break. Go on more uh, with this elder, Sonny. <laughs> uh, well, uh, they ain't available right now. But, Who's this um, elder? Are they great and powerful? Do they? Do you worship this elder? I wouldn't say worship, but we revere. She's a good person. Mm, where is this elder? Uh, not here right now. <laughs> Sounds like you're in need of a new elder if yours is missing. Nah, we're all right. Mm. Like you I, said, I'm a very important person. There's other very <laughs> important persons. We keep things running. I understand, Sonny. I understand. Uh-huh. So they like, they like uh, 100 sure up, he does. They understand. like to hang around with your gang a lot. All right, so uh, hey guys, I got uh, 
I got something for for you too. I I don't know. It's kind of hard to figure out how to do all this stuff as an old RV, you know. But uh, here you go. I mean, it'll last a little bit. Right now, he's taking the foam out of the upholstery, and he's just kind of like yeah. <laughs> tying it to you with, t- or he's taping it to you with duct yeah. tape. Yeah, stand still. <laughs> Tarkov looks at the vomit down the front of his shirt, and he's oh, still yeah. very he's still very thankful you made it for him, Vinny. Yeah, it means a lot. Uh, well, you lot. you're welcome. I mean, we're in this together, ain't we? I'm so tired. Nod. I'm tired. All right. So, so you want to head back out? Yeah. To H six. One, two. Not really. But yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and Have you to, to probably. You want to skirt the shore? Or do you want to go elsewhere? Uh, just real quick. Uh, yeah. Grub replenishes strength, right? Is that what it is? Yes. And water replenishes fatigue. Agility. Or, yeah, uh, yeah, fatigue, fatigue. yeah, fatigue. Yeah, fatigue. Okay. Sleep repairs confusion. Confusion. Okay. I was just trying to see if there's anything I could give you, but just a pat on the back, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. A moment of closest with a friend as if I was suffering from empathy damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to skirt the shore and avoid going through the the depths, the the middle of the lake. You want to go yeah. through, through H. Yeah. We're going right back to those lizard people, huh? All right, all right. Yeah, it's the best we can do. Mm-hmm. You got the you got the other arc over there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Bunny's thinking that. Uh, I mean, it was kind of since those new neighbors showed up that we started having these water problems. So sure, maybe they're the cause of it. Okay. So that's why he wants to investigate them. So I mean, he wouldn't be. That's why you're the boss. <laughs> go ahead and make your rolls there, Tarkov. Fuck. So uh, which square are we heading to? Can you point that out? They're going. You're going to H six. Okay, so the one to the south that we were going through. And you want to, I think you guys, the idea is to take the shore, right? You want to take the shore, you don't want to go over across the... the yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to avoid the water. really heavy in the middle of the lake. <laughs> really? Do you want to push that roll, Kenneth? Yeah, I'm going to push my roll. So I'm pushing my roll, and that just means, well, I can re-roll all the dice, right? Except for the one. Except for the one. You'd roll four oh, that's right. That's right. base dice. And then all your skill days. Okay, so you succeed. Yes. But you take some damage. And you gain some hit points. Uh, what do you add for point? points now? Are you like at 10? <laughs> no, mutant points. I only have three, I think. Or with this one, I have three now. Okay. That's good. And then I take one strength, right? Was that the, the base uh, skill for what? Or, I'm sorry, agility. The. And then it's off agility. Fatigue. All right, so you make your way through there. You're successful. Uh, you guys skirt around the lake itself. Uh, this is only <clears throat> when you're avoiding the middle of the lake. It's only a rot of one. So you're you're okay. What's one the stunt you're gonna do? Per day sp- spent there, so you know that you're you're good. You're not spending a day there. Hopefully. Hopefully, Tarkov's moving a little bit faster than that. Yeah, Tarkov, what are you going to do with that extra, uh, that, that stunt die there? You could look for artifacts, you could, uh... Oh, did oh, yeah. I get a stunt? Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Good call. Thank you, uh, uh Sonny. Yeah, I'm, I didn't even notice that. Thank you. So I can find a rot-free zone, but I think we're all set with that. Yeah, um, you're a rot one, so you're in no danger of yeah. being contaminated. Uh, where is it? I think I can find an artifact or I can find like 1d6. Page 56. Well. Thank you. Artifact, assess the general level of the rot. You can find d6 bullets, um, d6 rations, d6 uh, rations of grub or uh, rot free water. Um, uh, so if it says if I find an artifact in the sector, if there's one to be found. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so there... it could be that there's not one to be found. But better to know there's no artifacts than 
not find one. Yeah, I, I, I'll do that. We'll we'll search around for an artifact. Sure. Uh, as you're you're making your way through this uh, this zone, so this is along the the edge of the um, of the lake, and uh, you know from being in this area, and these guys know from previous session that this is a heavily wooded area. So you're making your way through the trees and uh, through the zone, and uh, as you're going through there, Tarkov, you do find some sets of tracks of animals. It looks like there's uh, f- well, it looks like five. Four-legged beasts have made their way through here. And you kind of tell the rest of the people to hang back. And you you scout up ahead. And you see that there's a, a small pack of zone dogs. And they're currently gnawing on and fighting over the the corpse of some poor dead mutant. Looks like some insectoid-looking person. And big fly eyes and, and wings uh, coming out of their back. And they're being torn. They're dead and they're being ripped apart and torn up by these zone dogs. Hmm. Um, and it's just me that scouted ahead, right? I, I yeah, you can go back and you can tell back. them. This is all part of your find yeah. the find the path. So you were successful. So you, you yeah, see so, these things before they encounter you, and so you're all good. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to move back to the group, let the group know what I saw, um, and then I think we'll just let them mess with that, harass that body until. <laughs> until they're done and if they don't go away i mean we might have to scare them off yeah yeah they're they're yeah. on this thing and they're fighting at it their uh zone dogs are pretty they're tenacious pretty, no they're they're pretty uh like thin and kind of uh, not not a huge threat um typically they run around in, in packs and uh they're usually quite skittish uh but uh, there's usually not much to them, you know that. They're wiry, they lack fur, it's kind of falling out in patches and clumps. You can see like their ribs poking out, the rib bones. These aren't like big, hulking, massive yeah, mutant yeah, dogs. Okay. Right, they're probably dire a little thin because of the winter. Yeah, dire wolves, pack of dire wolves. No, these are like large dogs, but they're sickly and they're, they're, they're infected by the rot. Uh, Typically found with groups of uh, rock ghouls as well, like these guys encountered last time, or zone ghouls, I should say. Um, but these these just look like a pack of wild zone dogs, mutts. So how many were there, Tarkov? Five. 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 Hmm. Five. Yeah. Think you can take them? I mean, I ain't much of a fighter, so that's mostly up to you. I'm sure I can take one or two of them myself, but. I don't know if we want to risk it. I mean, most of us have guns. Well, I mean, I know you and I got guns, but uh, maybe just a couple shots might scare them off. Yeah, I can try that. As long as you guys are ready. Dogs. Yeah. Dogs. Why did it have to be dogs? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Piper. <laughs> so we can we can try to sneak up on them, um, and then I'll, I'll let off a shot and see if it scares them. Not into the air, like at one of them. Do you want to try and like drop one, or yeah, just in a I'm direction? To... Like, what do you? What I, do you I'm just gonna try to shoot to wound and Talk then see here. what that does. I'm gonna try to shoot hey, to wait, wound wait. and see what it does. Oh, what wait, wait, wait. This is just a plan. Yeah. So, you're gonna go and you're gonna just shoot one. <laughs> um, I mean, we could wait. You think we want to maybe like set up an ambush? I mean, they're not, it's not like they're very smart or nothing, right? Oh, yeah, no, 100%. I don't want to do this by myself. I don't know if that, <laughs> that came across. Yes, I'd like to do this as a team team effort. Yeah, because uh, uh, shock and awe. Yeah, last time uh, we we did some of that uh, underhanded sneaky stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Piper, she, she stole a bag right out from some ghouls. Oh, hey, speaking of that. Uh, I, I couldn't help but notice you look a little tired. Me? Yeah. <laughs> so, me? <laughs> Do I no, need to I'd, go to sleep? I'd, I'd never say that to Piper. No, that's a bad oh. idea. Well, you know, like you may be a little fatigued. He's got he's got some pills for you. Oh. I have one of those pills left. We ain't keeping it. I um... I got one. 
Is it worth it if I'm just one down? That's, I, that's think, I think you hold on to that. But that's just I mean, my to be opinion. fair, T Tarkov's ready to down any pill you've got. He likes to party. so <laughs> He literally I mean, doesn't. He just puts his hand out. Sonny, Sonny, you're the boss. You know, in fact, why don't I give it to you and you decide when's good because... All right. Know. I mean, I ain't your boss. You're an independent contractor, so, you know. But I'll hold on to him, sure. Uh, you know, you seem to be a smart guy, so here you go. All so, right, hold on to him. Yeah, put that on your character sheet because I'm erasing it. Okay. Also, while we're talking, I want to look south and see if I see still a like, any sort of like pillars of smoke, you know, perhaps coming from right, the right. Oh, the yeah, fire. so the zone. No, it's uh, the you, zone south of us, right? No, just, this remember we're going to go the distance. Oh, you we know? could have passed at this point, uh, so you don't see uh, okay. pillars of smoke. Rising, okay. the, you can uh, hear the wailing of, of children. parentless children. <laughs> yeah, <of orphans. laughs> yeah, it's That's in the distance. Humans wandering the zone. That's a good idea. I think we'll make the down orphans. Oh, good call. All right. So, what do you want to do with these these dags who's ripping apart this dead mutant? They're fighting. They're snapping at one another. Uh, they're feral. They're fighting. They're very, very hungry. And they're just like ripping this thing apart. Its clothes are being torn right. apart. Its belongs are starting to scatter in the snow and get buried. All right. So I, I like the idea of setting up an ambush. Uh, I mean, the, some of you guys got longer range than others. I only got a, a scrap pistol. So uh, we'll set it up to where uh, you guys uh, draw them in. And then uh, when they get closer, we, we, we take them down if they come closer. Uh uh, Vinny bends over and he says, I got a rock. <laughs> uh, Jeff, thank you for your third month in a row subscription. And he says, yeah, shoot the thanks, alpha. Jeff. He says, shoot. The he just subscribed and said, shoot the alpha in his subscription message. <laughs> so, can I Let's do can it? I, Let's shoot the alpha. Can yeah. I use my know the zone to see if I can tell which one's the alpha? Yeah. Yeah, please do. That's a cool. great idea. It's a hor I just realized I've been rolling like crap, so. Uh, and it's know the zone, not comprehend, yeah. All right. So, yeah, so. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. What's the worst yeah. that could happen? <laughs> I have no idea which one's the alpha. You have no <laughs> idea which one's the alpha. God damn it. Did you get a six in there? I got to hover over it. Now you got a one. You're uh, like, ah, I can't tell. They're all kind of like snapping on another. They're all roughly the same size. They, they all look showing, really, like, really big to me they look yeah. about the same size no one's like showing dominance over the others they're all yeah. fighting and snapping at one another they're all really polite to each other yeah oh no your turn oh thank yeah, you yeah yeah <laughs> they all defer to each other <laughs> no no i insist mm -hmm. uh, uh, and is this something that anyone could try or is it just yeah uh, anybody you know? can do it yeah okay i'm gonna try I th it's a general you'd, skill is it not you'd, no, think, that yeah. the, you'd think that the stock yeah. would be good at it yeah Stalker's like, guys, I swear I'm usually really good at this. I I'm am the best stalker, stalker in the arc. I literally just stalk around the hallways of our arc and watch people. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you're that kind of stalker. I'm that kind of stalker. <laughs> I don't do I don't do this all this the zone stuff. No, he's just stalking uh, his girlfriend. Yeah, I just stalked my girlfriend. <laughs> That's right. I, I do it so much I that I got her a, yet. A I have plans for her. Uh oh. Me too. Uh, <laughs> creeper. Uh <laughs> all right, so uh Vincent's like, hey, that one there. He's kind of got like, like a like a, a tuft of hair going across his back. It's almost like a, like a little mohawk. That one, that mm -hmm. one's the alpha. Look at him. He's he's drinking monster energy. <laughs> yeah, monster energy drinks all pretty, around. Pretty yeah. soon, he's pretty got a stink. bandolier full of them hanging up. Yeah, <laughs> you see, you see that one. If it if it could make a fist, it'd be putting a it'd be putting it through some drywall. You know what I mean? <laughs> I bet you, I'm gonna call that uh, one Kyle. <laughs> He hates his stepdad. It's the Kyle of the group. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you so guys then, uh, take a shot at that one. So so then um, I got two successes. So for my stunt, I'm going to ask the GM um, uh, uh, how can I hurt it? Talk about his stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just I mean, it's a vague question, so but yeah, I get to ask. I get to ask it. 
it looks like it has recently suffered a injury to its front to left leg. Mm. Hey, you see that? You can see how it's it's favoring that one. The the right no right um front left leg. It's left leg. <laughs> <laughs> Dark I'm like sizing it up. You can hit that left leg. It looks like it's already sustained an injury there. Ooh. So that becomes that becomes the plan, you know. He sort of he he reads he reads what's being said. I assume Tarkov's the only one with a scrap rifle, right? I know Piper has a bow. I have a pistol. Yeah. So uh, um, you've you probably heard that Piper can take something down from a little bit of a distance, right? Yeah, yeah. Because she's also a really good hunter. I know that about her. I also know that she's strange. <laughs> I- I wrote that in my character sheet. It's so. accurate. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. It's fair. Well, I mean, I'm called Fleabag, so what do you expect? Yeah. Um, do we want to try that first, or do we want, do you want to go silent and then loud, or do you want to go? What do you want to do? Team, Seal we Team could Six. Go silent. Bows are quiet too. I'd Let's like to sneak that. without having to use my animal power yet. So just like a straight stealth? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, so sneak. Sneak, as they call it in this. <clears throat> Where's my character sheet? Where's my blank character sheet? I have one that I refer to constantly. Is it called sneak on the animal sheet too? Yeah, it is. Yep. It's weird because the robot has everything named different. It's like, oh, damn you robots. It, it's it's flavorful, but it's so annoying because you're like, what is it? Right? Okay, so do you want to push that roll? It's a skill die that you got a one on. Uh, you didn't you didn't get anything on your base dice though. Do you see that? It didn't roll I properly. I no idea what it's doing. So yeah. you get to roll again regardless. But okay, cool. So you got two successes. Do you get a stunt for that? Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Do you get a stunt with your extra success? Sneak. Agility. When setting up a sneak... Oh, setting up a sneak attack, you get plus one modification to your first attack for every six rolled after the first. But you were looking just to get up there stealthily, weren't you? To sneak up on them. Sneak agility. All right. Sneak upon. Yeah, you get a little close. So there's like a tuft of trees you guys are standing in. And they're in a little opening. I'll say they're on a little patch of ice. Uh, just kind of on on the lake itself. And you guys, you skulk up nice and close right to the tree line, Piper. And you're sitting there watching. You're watching them tear this insectoid mutant to pieces. And uh, yeah, you see things flying out of its pockets. They're grabbing arms and just like twisting their heads back and forth and its arm flies off and they all rush over and they start like biting and eating at it and some of them are still behind eating and feasting at the uh the main part of the corpse i'm gonna look back at tarkov and see if he's moving up tarkov's looking in the other direction no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. yeah <laughs> he's taking pills that he found no uh i will sneak up so you want me to like yeah, Tarkov's following sneaking up with you. So uh, I'm worried maybe. that <laughs> okay, I'm worried that I have to make this roll. But I yeah, would... he's he's attempting. Right, no, he's gonna stay where he is because he can. I mean, is this long distance? I'll tell you what. Here you go. You're yeah, because all... you both have long wet range weapons. Yeah, Tarkov, if he can, will just stay back um, as far as he can away from it. You guys, um, yeah, you're, you're here. You're here. I'll tell you what, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. What? I'll tell you what. <laughs> Zone dog one, two, three. Nice. Four, five. There you go. There's your dogs. Perfect. Piper's in the trees. So she's a range band away. Piper's in the trees. Piper's in the trees. Like I said, they're on, they're on the ice. Get to the piper. <laughs> uh, here you go. It's not a piper. There's even a, a man lying dead on the ice. Okay, so there's the scene. You guys in the trees? 
These dogs are on the ice. They're gnawing away at the man. Piper has closed the gap. She's like at the tree line here. She's in a tree right on the, the edge of the ice. They're unaware that she's there. And um, yeah, Tarkov, you're back there as well with the rest of the others. Do you want to move up a range band to get a little closer? Like uh, uh, In combat terms, I'm just going to maneuver, but I know we're not actually doing that right now. I just want to sneak up to the edge um, and just, just position myself in a way where I'm still within long range range band, you know, two range bands. Um, and I can sort of like... So like there? Keep, yeah, keep my rifle on him while she's... She's okay. doing her thing. Yeah, because that would be short, I'm, medium, I'm long. support. Yeah, okay, gotcha. You kind of you scuttle up a tree, and you're sitting up there in the branches, and you got your rifle out, and you're looking down the scope. Yeah. Uh, Piper's yeah, like just uh, hunkered down in the tree line, looking at the doggies. What do the rest of you want to do? Um, I don't want to spoil her ambush. Right. Or Tarkov's ambush, so I think I'm gonna just stay where I'm at. And... Sure. We're not in yeah. combat. They're not aware of your presence. They're just sitting there, yeah. fighting, tearing this thing apart. Yeah, I think someone oh, would probably be doing the same thing. Is gonna let them do their thing, hanging out near Vinny. Uh, and if they come towards... Because uh, Tarkov's got the loud gun, so he's probably gonna actually draw yeah. attention. Gotcha. So uh, if then once they start coming, then yeah, he's just gonna basically wait, and then when they get in range, when he sees the whites, their eyes, uh, he's gonna take a shot. Yeah. You can you can put yourself wherever you want within the range band you're in, guys. You're not sneaking up another range band, so you can position yourselves wherever you want, Vincent and Sunny, or even Tarkov. If you're staying back there, you can move wherever you want in that range band. That's what those lines are, Ken, that I make on there. The yeah, yeah, no, it's good. It's good. I, I feel you. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I'm just gonna have my weapon out and ready, um, to make sure once it pops off, uh, if you know the effect isn't what we wanted, I'm ready to help out. Okay. Okay, Piper, your move. Okay, so remind me how you would do an attack. Would it be my shoot agility? Mm -hmm. So yes. it'd be like five agility, and then the gear would be my yep. weapon? Yes, it okay. would. You're, you're aiming for that alpha. So I'm going to say, for, yeah. if you want to hit a specific part, there isn't really rules. We're just going to go loosey-goosey with it here. One is always a success, right? All you need is one six. So I'm going to say you need two sixes, and you can hit. You can nail that leg. They, um, okay. If you want to do like difficulty, like a modifier, I think you take away dice or add dice. Oh, you're right. right. Yeah. You are correct, mm -hmm. Ken. Sorry. Yeah, and they no, always no, affect. No, no. You're, he's correct. They always affect skill dice and nothing so, else. So, so yeah. yeah, lose one skill dice, and then roll. Uh, I'm good then. I don't have any skills and shoot. <laughs> you don't? Oh. No. Well, Damn. Look at you. Whoops. And she just throws it. She goes for it. So you hit. Look at that. With she didn't even have the skill. She just blows it out of the way. So how much damage does your gun do? Uh, it does one damage on my bow. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. One, one damage. <laughs> so you hit the leg. So you let loose your arrow. And it flies suddenly through the air. And it slams into that injured leg of the doggy. And it... Yelps and drops to the ground and starts twitching and biting at its leg where the arrow is. And the others look over. And uh, let's see here. Zone ducks. <laughs> um, they start to scatter. They really have no stats and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, they start to scatter. Oh, in boy. various directions. <laughs> Running. Uh, we're going to say that buddy boy here is the one with the sleepy head is the one <laughs> that's down. And they all start to scatter and run in various directions. So they're running. You got three running towards you. Oh, boy. Um... So let's enter initiative initiative shall we let me clear the tracker from last 
time and add all of y'all. Now, if I remember correctly, you have to have your token selected before hitting the initiative button. And oh. then it'll automatically put it on the tracker for you. Otherwise, you can put gotcha. it in there manually. I'm going to put that in there manually because I rolled a six. <laughs> Zone dogs. Doing what they do. This is the second time you've tur you've run into zone dogs. <laughs> but you didn't fight them last time. Nope. You got away with it. These ones are scattering. We'll see what happens. They just got teeth. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. No big deal. Yeah, right? What? We underestimated Rot, which is literally just the world. And, and it destroyed you. And it whooped our asses, yeah. Uh, okay. So, oh, I gotta roll them for my, I gotta roll for my doggies. Where the hell's the initiative button? There we go. What? What? Two. So, I see a whole bunch didn't go in there. Uh, you guys can fill them in also. So, Mike, you got a three. Like I said last time. We oh, weird. Mine should be a four. I don't know what it was. I do you like the card system from yeah, Mutineers from, uh, or yeah. Midlands a lot more personally. I don't know. I was thinking about do we do we do we house rule that? Are you guys cool with that? I like it. I think it adds a little dynamic to the game. The, these games all mix together, so I don't see why not. And I mean, Forbidden Lands really just is the evolution of this system. Right? I agree. So so oh, with the cards so should just be a one, right? Uh yes. Okay. I'll change this to one. So what the cards is you have a, a deck of 10 cards, and there's mm -hmm. only one of each card in there. So as soon as it's drawn, it's out. And everybody draws a card when you enter combat. And uh, yeah, so there's no... It's just chance. It's just whatever yeah. you get from the deck. Yeah. Do you still have like agility breaks, ties, or whatnot? Oh, wait, no, you can't. You can't have a tie. No, you can't. Uh, there's no ties interesting. whatsoever. Interesting. Cool. Um, yeah, if you, I'm okay. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just play the game. It's something to think yeah. about. All right, so Vincent, you're up first. You're there, and you've got dogs that have entered your the zone in front of you. Three dogs running. <laughs> They're ferocious. They're coming in not, your direction. Not the ideal situation. Do you have a gun? He's a rock. He has a rock. That's right. Hey. Oh yeah, it's yeah. You did good things with that rock last time. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, I hear that a lot. <laughs> um, you know, one's coming awful close to Piper, and I don't want that to happen, so... Because uh, she's my buddy. Sure. I'm going to just take that rock, and I'm going to chuck it. Yeah, you're... Tarkov's feelings, but all do right. Do you want to step up next to Piper and throw it so you're in the, the same range band as it? I think that would help you. I think it's a short-range weapon, is it not? Uh, let's see. I think rock is actually close. No, it's short. But, uh, okay, so this is short range then? Yep, you can throw a, throw a rock short range. And you can maneuver for free if you want Okay, to. yeah, I'm going to do that so that way I can uh, stand next to Piper and hopefully, you know, help out. So, uh, all right. So you, you got three dogs. They're all going, and one's going, like, northeast, one's going east, and one's going south east um so you're going for the one charging right at you so you pick up a rock off the ground and you whip it and it goes wide mm -hmm. uh oh do you oh, want to rewind time the rock goes back in your hand and you take it <laughs> again uh well then now we'd have to push it and uh. leaves you with two base die possibility to drop Listen to you trying to sell it. I know, right? Yeah. Hey, I, I ran a lot of Forbidden Lands. Yeah. It was all about um, selling that push. Well, you sold me, so. Yes! Um, like, like, this man uh, loves danger. Like Jeff said in the chat, in it to win it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. He's got those old school D&D tactics. You know, the marching order, all that. Hey, so I took a, I took a fatigue by pushing it. I get yet another Except mutation point. Do you not get a gear die for throwing a rock? No. No, no. Okay. Don't get any. Okay, so one point. You get point, your, your catapult, your rock catapult. One yep. point of damage, but you hurl this rock and it slams into the uh 
to the dog's head. <laughs> a blood soda. A yelp. Oh man, do they still have the the music on here, like the sound effects? Yeah, they do. Oh, not uh, the sound effects as much. Uh, they got the music. They got rid of. Uh, I remember they they tore it all down. And I was like, do you remember that? On my playlists, yeah. Because you could find music for anything. Oh, I had I had a full Star Wars like swoon. Ah, oh, so did yeah. I. That's okay. You got the music in you. It's true. It's in my heart. It's in yeah. my heart. Touch. Won't let go. Nope. <laughs> got to get what you give. I don't have appropriate music. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, so slams into the dog's head, lets out a yelp, and it's still heading in your direction. Oh, God. Let's go to Tarkov, the star. Uh, so which one's the injured dog? It is... It doesn't matter. I think we both know that. <laughs> I marked it with a dot. It's the one running towards Piper and Vincent. Okay, so he's uh, Tarkov's gonna sight down it now that he's seen that it's injured, and he's gonna he's gonna take your shot. Do it. Um, so it's gear dice. I get plus one. Bango. Nope. Really? You're gonna push that. You have no ones. You, you, you know. Lose. You know I'm gonna push it. Uh, push it real good. Push it. You actually, you know what I'm gonna do, and you're gonna laugh at me. Are bullets made of metal? Of course they are. <laughs> Look at that. Boffrin's here. The Grim Streamer is slacking. People are living. Yes, <laughs> nah, right. Boffrin, Boffrin's the one who sent me pictures that he's like, you need to make this your logo. And I was like, oh, Boffrin, you're the best. Uh, so pushing, I don't get my gear dice? Or no, I don't get my No, you get you dice. get everything. You don't have any oh. ones. You get to re-roll the whole thing. What? Okay, you're okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the chance of me hitting this is pretty high. He said knowing that wasn't true. Bam. Look at that. Yes. You did it. You took one point of damage to your agility. Worth it to my Get agility, a mutant yeah. point. Nobody's activated a mutant point here. And uh, you only do one point of damage because you only got one six. Uh, right, no, I, did, damage your I did two damage because I have a scrap rifle. Yeah. So that all of a sudden... Either way. Crack. You hear pff, echo out in the area. Birds start to fly and scatter. <laughs> and the dogs react. They all look around and this loud crack lets out. And uh, the dog gets just slammed with a bullet from Tarkov's rifle. And it kind of, it shudders back on the ice and it gets up and it's bleeding everywhere. And it's just kind of limping forward now, the one that he shot. Uh, single tear from Tarkov. <laughs> Sunny. Oh, did you want to move Tarkov? Because you can maneuver as well. Oh, you know what? Um, no, he's actually going to stay where he is. He's going to, he's going to stay right there. Uh, do you need to reload or? Uh, I think I can only maneuver in one action, so technically I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Well, you look into that. We'll jump. We'll yeah. hop over to Sunny. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can reload the gun, so I'm gonna reload. Okay. Thanks, Adam. You're welcome. Uh, all right. So Sunny. Uh, so the the range to the left is short range, right? So. He's gonna pile on. Yes. Uh, if that dog is still standing. He's gonna he's gonna take the shot because he's gonna just target basically whatever Tarkov's targeting. You you should aim before you do that, like I should have. Yeah, you can what? do plus one to get uh one one yeah. extra dice. Extra yeah, dice. So I'll definitely aim. Dice. It adds a skill dice. All right. Yeah, uh, it adds skill dice because it's it's not gonna hurt you if you get a one on it. So just so you have it separate and we know that. It's... All right, so. We'll just say that I got, because um, we got to do an advanced roll, I got a base agility of two. We got no skill. The gear from the gun <laughs> is one. And then we'll do a skill for the aim. And then we will roll that beautiful bean footage. Sonny's like, ah, you, I, my men do this for me. I'm not usually out here doing this dirty work. Right. Mm -hmm. And so he misses, but he doesn't get any... Uh, ones so he's gonna go ahead and just oh, take an angle he's gonna shit. push it of course he's gonna yes. push it. Un push under his breath he's like the house always wins yeah the house <laughs> always wins dun, 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 dun. Yeah. oh Oof. how much so you took a point to your <laughs> gear so that means how many gear dice does your your gun have how many what? The gear and that's one gear die your gun just broke Oh no! Fire, and all of a sudden, the pin flies out, and it kind of falls apart in your hands, and it breaks. 
And you're like, oh, fudge. And you also take a point. <laughs> fudge. Fudge. In agility. To your agility as your gun crumbles in the snow, breaks in yep. two. I'm literally the worst fighter. <laughs> I should have brought But you're so good at talking. You're such a good talker. I am. I really am. I break the will of people. It's fine. <laughs> so that is that is also one of the dangers of pushing is your weapons breaking on you. Yeah, they can be repaired though. They Just, can because uh, we have a junk man. Yeah, it sucks for the adventure, but <laughs> uh, this dog's gonna run here. He's got two targets, so let's roll a D two because I'm always fair like that. Uh, Piper, you're one. Vincent, you're two. It's going to try and jump at and attack your jugular, Vincent. Oh no! And that one. Can go there, and this one's going to. Oh, what the hell? He's also going to go here. Okay. Tarkov, you're up first, my friend. Dang. The dog is going to run at you, and he's going to jump up and try and bite at your throat. And now I can defend using my agility, right? Is that what it is? Uh, no. Because <laughs> you, you can't, you can't, yes. you can't dodge bullets, but you can dodge close combat. You can defend. Yes, eliminate. Oh, one six roll by attacker if they have none left. Increase the initiative score by two. Uh, roll fight versus fight counts as one. It counts as one of your actions in this. Hmm. So oh, so like one of your actions so, to reload. Yeah. So. Yeah, so he'll lose his next action if he defends now. Okay. But he yeah. can do it. Next turn. Okay. Bam. Oh yeah, if you defend, you lose your next action. In this and now turn, when I defend, have your next turn, do you I defend. also use my armor or? Just oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, uh, let's see. Did I, think I that's just on my attack though? Um, yes. No, uh, when you defend, you. You defend with, um, no armor is rolled for when you actually suffer damage. Yeah, this is a skill damage. to avoid damage. Okay, yeah. um, I'm going to, and this is a controversial choice. Uh, I'm going to just counter attack it. Um, I think I can do that. I don't remember. Uh, counter attack. Uh, and inflict weapon damage cannot increase damage beyond using several d sixes. So the yes you. Can so I'm going to shoot it because I already reloaded. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to just oh, okay. take the hit from it for my makeshift armor. Okay. So it does. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. God so damn it! <laughs> it does two points of damage. So go ahead God and roll your armor because you have to yeah. roll for it because your armor can also break and fall apart. Yeah. Uh, armor rating three. So it absorbed none of the damage. What's up with my rolls, man? So right. two damage to your strength. Yep. And you missed on your shot. Because you roll, yeah, you roll fight versus fight. So you, Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I push that? Well, I guess uh, counterattack, inflict weapon damage, cannot increase. It's weird, because I'm just reading my rules here. Counterattack and inflict weapon damage. But it says fight versus fight. Yeah, so he needs to when you when you declare defense, you need to roll a fight. Yeah, roll, so roll, and then you count up successes and do what, whatever's from the list of stunts. Jeff says bad juju going on. Yeah, so roll me a fight roll. Night. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then if you're successful, and I would still use my gear dice then because it's a fight, right? Um, you would use the gear dice of whatever you're fighting with. So, like, if it's the butt of a gun, it would be, like, a blunt object or something like that? Yeah. And go. You got one success. And it got one success. Um, now I gotta find the rules on the tie. Is, I, is it the attacker wins? Um, typically, that's uh, how it goes. But, let's see. Well, what happens normally is you eliminate one successful. Oh, so nobody does anything. Yeah. 
Um, or he could choose to counterattack and take the damage. Like it's it's a list of things that you can do. So um, like he, this is different than a lot of skill rules because yeah. like there's no base skill. You just choose from the list what you do. Okay. So and you want to counterattack with your weapon. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. So you actually don't have to defend at all. No, um, you don't have to. So we didn't need to do any of that. I just counterattacked and then take damage. Well, that's because of your defense roll. Now you can choose from that list. Yeah, and you can, you can choose to counterattack instead of eliminate their successes. Yeah, you still have oh, to roll. It's okay. still it's a fight versus fight when you want to got defend, it. right? Yeah. So you got one so, success and you can spend that one success to counterattack. Um, and it, it looks like that, it autumn it, it inflicts weapon damage, and you can't increase the damage. So it would just be like you can't increase weapon it. Yeah. It'd be two damage. Well, actually, it would be one damage. I assume because it's uh, like a blunt object, not the gun. Yeah. Yes. Because it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just negate one of their hits. One of their successes. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, this should you eliminate one six rolled by the attacker. If they have no sixes left, attack has no effect. So yeah, and he only had one six. Yeah, that is one of the yeah, options. So that's, so that's what so I would, that's what I would do. Okay. Yes. And I, I just told Adam about this too. As I, was, I was reading up, I was like, yeah, for some reason it wasn't sticking. And now I feel even worse because now no. this fighting is like... See, for me, coming from playing Forbidden Lands first where it's a lot more streamlined and going to play yeah. this, I find there's a lot more fiddly bits like this. In this yeah, game. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, it's just repetition. will yeah, get it we'll, into us. We'll get yeah, into yeah. it. But yes, okay. what you did was, yes, that makes sense. We made opposed strength check or fighting checks. You both got a six. You negated his hit. Take no damage. You're good. All right. Okay. All right. It's a learning experience for all of us. So now it Sorry comes about to that, me. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. It's You're all right. good. Uh, so yes. Yeah, so now we got two attacking Vincent Vincenzo. All right, no. the first one. <laughs> no Vincenzo. <laughs> you don't like that. So we got two. Uh, I'm just being silly. This is the injured <laughs> no. dog. It's bleeding and it's like limping and lurching towards you, and it's kind of like lunges at you and sinks its teeth into your calf. And blood ah, starts to flow. The warm oh no. sting of blood in the cold, Gosh. cold winter. Well, let's, so see dramatic. If, let's see if my trash can lid shield will hold up. <laughs> um, you do have one. That's let's see right. if this works. Okay, I got no sixes. Ooh. So yeah, but you and you lose a point. Off of your Man, just right. Do. Yeah, Some, it's already free now. Yep. So it slams into your shield and it bends uh, a corner of it and it still no. makes its way through and <laughs> ah, gnashes at you. <laughs> Fucking dog! Okay, what happens to me? Do you want to try and defend? Um, You have to declare before the roll is made. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Two points of damage. A lot of lessons. Oh no! <laughs> and the run. next one is going to attack. I like how yeah, Matt's like, oh, they're just sickly dogs, and they're just mauling us. They are sickly dogs. Well, we're also sickly dogs. You it should got, you whew, should you should no grade on a curve. But I'm gonna push. Oh. I'm gonna push no. that one. No. Nice. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what's its fight too? They are sickly. You guys, these are nothing. Are more to you. sickly. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Three successes. Four successes. Four successes. So I'm going to assume that that body that they're mangling was probably filled with steroids. Go ahead yeah. and roll your <laughs> roll your armor, Vincent. All right. So this We're going to dodge first. Opening. Hold on. As the other one lunges at you and it goes ah right at your side and starts just gnawing and gnashing at you. These can, are like the... can you dodge? He, he said he There's had to no dodge. Ahead. Yeah, you have to declare it beforehand. So you lose another point off of your shield. You try to bash it, and a piece falls but, off, and it starts gnawing at you. Just for clarification, before you roll armor or before you get attacked? Before you get attacked, you got to roll them at the oh. same time. Yep. Oh, Vincent, Vincent, Vincent. Boffern, are you still here?
he might be gone. This is what he showed up for. All right, so for the death, I too get to spend my sixes for extra damage and stuff. So it's mm -hmm. get out of here. Two, three, four, five points of damage because it's two base, and then it's an extra point of damage for each six. Two, three, okay. four, five. Does that drop you? Yeah. A com a comedic amount of Kill Bill blood. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you dropped a zero. Now I, get to, now I get to roll on that, uh, critical injury table. Yeah. This will be fun. This will be fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it because I have not used the table in this game yet. Yeah. Uh, so, Page I'm 90. trying to remember. It, oh, it's, uh, D66. I'll let you read off to me what happens. Yeah. You, you okay. Will, you choose your fate. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop. <laughs> oh, seriously. Oh. I think I'm uh, dead. No, you have a neck injury. It's not lethal. Oh my god, you're paralyzed from the neck down. Jesus. Effect is permanent unless healed during healing time. And healing what time is the healing is time? 46. 46 what? Let's see, healing time. Just look for it here as well. Measured in days. Woo! Roll me 46. You, you tell me how many days you have. You've got a long time there, Vincent. Uh, 46. <laughs> Bofford says you, you lived. My dice aren't working right. Hey, he rolled them. Not me. 56 is high, man. He's paralyzed from the neck down. 16 days. So I got 16 days to get healed. We can did, we can bring you back in sixteen days. I did suggest making backup characters, and we did make characters that character. Groups. Yeah, so like, I just fall directly to the ground. It's not. Um, <laughs> and just like a, a mass. Well, it's passed, on me! It's on me! <laughs> passed out. Also, Piper, you just oh, watch Vincent drop to the ground and just go limp, and these dogs are now looking at you, licking their chops at the giant cat in front of them. Uh, so I'd like to switch to my knife. Yeah. And that would cost the maneuver, right? Yep. But they're right there with you. Okay. Like this, this one is engaged. You could attack that one with your knife. It's adjacent to you. That's what I would like to do. And so this would be a fight roll, which is strength. Vincent's asleep. He's just asleep. We have not made it past <laughs> one square away from the arc this time. Yeah, it's because you guys have the world's worst stalker. <laughs> hey, but you know what? You're really close to that silver egg, and you were offered healing there previously. Yeah, strange you know alien I, deity. I don't know. You know what else? We're good people. You are yeah. good people. <laughs> Piper, you connect with your knife, and you cut this. This dog only had one hit point down, so what does it look like? This killing blow that you take in revenge of Vincent being brought down I, I just jack it in the ribs <laughs> it's just a quick just bup bup. run it through it it yeah it's like launching through the air at you and you just holding your knife straight to the ribs and it falls to the ground and your knife just cuts all the way down as it falls Pow. <laughs> blood spews everywhere Meow. adam Damn. i don't think you need to roll anything you're just down um you don't have to roll to die do you <laughs> Roll to no, die. but there's there's a way to like roll to get back up or something. I don't know. I think oh, one of us would have to pick you, you up. Okay. I'm not oh, sure. I'll keep uh, looking. Look you got time. Bro it's broken. Yeah, I got Getting back up. The fast way to recover from being broken is that someone else successfully heals you. In okay, most cases, let's... you don't need to be healed. Get back on your yeah. feet. Da, 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 da. If you're broken by damage and have suffered a critical injury, you might die unless someone heals you in time. Read more below. That's, okay. That's if it's uh, lethal. Tarkov the Stalker. You're yeah. face to face with a mangy mutt that's snapping at you. All right. So so we figured that I didn't technically shoot because I had to defend, right? Yes. Use the butt of your gun. Okay. So I can still choose to shoot now. Yes. Correct? Yes. Do you want to correct? move a range band away? Because right now your arms reach, right? You can maneuver... You can move anywhere in the same zone. 
So you would be so near rather than arms. I'm going to move. Uh, I'm going to move in front of my boss. Oh, no, I'd have to stay. Where, well, I can move here. Right. Oh, no, wait, here. Where was I? Right here. Right there. It has to be within the same. Well, yeah, it has to be within the same zone because you're currently engaged with him. So to break away, you'd have to remain in the same zone as him, but you'd be near. But you can move anywhere within that zone and you'd be considered okay, so near. I'm going to put myself between Sunny and the dog. So Tarkov's okay. going to put himself between Sonny and this this charging mutt, his boss. Sure. And he's going to take a, a, an action to shoot it. Uh, hopefully taking it out, being a hero. What about mutant powers? Anybody got mutant powers they want to use here? I, I have my metal powers, but literally I need something metal. <laughs> what about... I I'm in a taiga. I, don't I know. was going to use my hey, next turn, but... I got uh, these scrap pieces right here. Yeah. If you want to check them with this dog. <laughs> As I like, show the scrap pilot as my gun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll use a uh, mutant power then. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use. Uh... Oh, there. Yeah, there's the broken gun. Now wait a minute. This is gonna sound super cheesy. Um, okay, I'm gonna move you I back. To, I have to remember how many life points these dogs had. At okay. least three. They have, they have four. I'll tell you right now. They have four. So I'm gonna use all of my mutant points, and I'm going to explode. I'm gonna shoot a gun. Like explode the gun at the dog, like the the scrap metal. You're just gonna the launch scrap like metal shrapnel pieces. Yeah, like a it. like a yeah like a shrapnel blast. Okay, um, is that and that's one of the uh, the ways to use your mutant ability? Yeah, I'm finding right now, so I can I can make sure I say that's it awesome. Being incorrect. One second. That's all good. Uh. Uh, and you can throw metal objects at a target up to short range. The damage is equal to the number of MP you spend. That's awesome. You he's and do I have to roll to like hit or is it just like nope. straight up? I... Yeah, so I'm using four mutation points. Alright. So what is blast that dog in the face? What does this look like? What you you pick up the broken gun at Sunny's. He doesn't feet? even pick it up. He just looks at it and then looks at the dog. And there's just like a, a flash of like flying bits of metal, but it's really it's really uh, it's it's not as violent as you make it seem. Just kidding, it's horribly violent. It looks like it gets it flies, uh, shredded apart. It flies through the air and just rips through this dog, yeah. like all through it. Just like these little holes just appear all over it. You guys don't even catch a glimpse of what really happened. You don't even know. Oh, Sunny saw. Place. Yeah. But you don't <laughs> see the, the, the right metal, in front of him. The metal's yeah. moving so fast <laughs> that it just like shrip, shreds through the dog and it lets out a whimper and blood kind of drips out of its mouth and it hunches over as it's in Yeah, it's like, a, pieces. it's like a quick football tackle. It's just standing and then it's not. That is why we have mutant points, people. Uh, roll me a d6. I think I have to roll 46, don't I? Or is it just one? Uh... One for each point spent. Yeah. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Tons of whammies. That's how I roll. One? You did get a one. I always get ones. You are doing great tonight. It's good to have you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That was... Glad that was... I can help. That was badass what you did. Yeah. All right, so, so that means so I get another mutation. You have to roll on the mutation? misfire table now. So it doesn't oh, misfire. Mean, right. Doesn't necessarily mean that you've become a further mutant or anything. You just roll a d6. So I'm just gonna roll a d6 real quick, quickity do here. Move this turn order. Bop. Oh yeah, two. You suffer, suffer the, the effect of the mutation and take as much trauma as your target. Oh, oh no! Oh my god! So the bullet, the shrapnel. Picks up off the ground from Sunny. <laughs> it flies in your direction oh and it goodness. flies right through you and then through the dog. Wow. Ah, uh, boy. Did you drop? Did you kill yourself? Yeah, because that's strength, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So I literally, so it doesn't shoot forward. It just explodes in a burst. And then I, I literally like a like a flat board fall to the ground like boom. <laughs> this is turning grim. And so does that mean I also have to have a critical injury? Uh, yes, you now get to roll in the critical injury table. Bam. Oh, yeah. Crushed foot. Is it lethal? Huh. Yes. Time limit. D6 days. <laughs> Minus three to move and sneak. Healing time is 46. I don't know. It says it's lethal. I don't know. 
I guess you could. I mean, yeah, so, Adam can't move, but I have a crushed foot. I'm dead. So it would be lethal after D six days. After D six days, yeah. yeah. I'm rolling yeah. it right now. One second. <laughs> Five days. Oak just lol. Uh, just a normal crushed foot. Crushed foot. So days. you got five days to heal it. So minus three to move and sneak. Jesus. You're really gonna have to go see the oracle in the silver egg there next door. I'm, or go yeah, back to the it ark. Looks like we have to. Yeah. You can, you can limp back to the ark. You're like in between the two. Okay. Tarkov, man. You're sleeping also. But you're down to one dog. Though the alpha is considered he's done. He's down. And the other one ran away. I'm glad we shot these sickly dogs. <laughs> I'm glad we only have to deal with three instead of all five. Sunny. You've got, uh, you just watched Tarkov drop from the explosion of your, your broken Heroically, gun. heroically drop. Right, right. So, very heroically, which is yeah. why, uh, it, can I perform heal in, the, in combat? Yeah, you can. You can walk over there. And, and do I will work. move up to Tarkov yeah. and do such. Mouth to mouth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> A little bit of tongue. Yeah, I can't help but notice that two dead people were the ones acting heroically. <clears throat> well, no, and Piper. Piper's the one who went up there first and did the and nailed the shot. She was pretty dead. Is it her? Is it heroic to stab a dying dog? Well, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> she dropped the alpha though. That was pretty sometimes heroic. sometimes a killing can be a mercy. You're right. Hey, he come on, that buddy. That's all. Don't that you quit on me. I think uh, standing and protecting her friend who just fell uh, counts as heroic. That's heroic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm going to save my buddy, man. I gotta I save my buddy. So I got heroic. that one. Now, if I choose to push it, I can re-roll that one, right? On the skill dice. Yes, you can. You'll be Let's down do it. one. You'll be down one of your base die, though. So it'll be four. I'm mean, sorry, three base dice. But you're not gonna right. get. You won't get a, an injury point because it's a six. You just don't get to re-roll right. sixes. I'm just gonna try to. Push that a bit. Let's see here. Tarkov. Plus, why not more mutation points, right? He's going. There we go. Whoa. I got. I got one. Uh, I took yeah. one to my uh, empathy. Or no, yeah. My, yeah. And but uh, otherwise, I got two heals on you. So I'm gonna bump that up. You're up, buddy. So, so I'm up, but I still got my crushed foot. Right. So I'm, yes. I'm working on the broken part now, but I can do the. Treat critical injury later. Because it's going to take yeah, no, that's, 46 that's perfect, days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can treat critical. That's right. Okay. So, Tarkov, you're lying there, and all of a sudden your eyes open, and you're looking up at the sky. No, you're looking up at Tarkov, whose tongue is hanging out of his mouth. But it's not, yeah. It's not a sky. It's my boss's eyes. It's your boss's I got you. eyes. I got you. And they're bright. <laughs> they're so bright. I wink at you. The, the chat says, buy that reroll. <laughs> 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 all right. This is like the usual crowd from the Forbidden Lands sessions. They're, they like seeing nice. this. They're, they're here for the blood. <laughs> they're monsters, man. They're, they're, they're just, terrible, they aren't they? They just want that blood, yeah. All right. The one that's closest to you, Piper, is going to attack you because Vincent is lying limp on the ground. This one is uninjured. It runs over to you and it lunges at you and bites. It says, giant cat. Roar! And it misses. <laughs> I'm going to push it. What the hell? <laughs> oh 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 it lunges at you and it like you hold out your knife and you slash it with your <laughs> knife uh, with her cat like reflexes you mean oh. cat -like reflexes. <laughs> i did two damage to myself and instead of hitting you that's that happens when you push hey it happens to me as well all right Piper, it's your turn. You've got a uh, an injured dog snapping nice. at you. It's the last one standing. Let me go ahead and see if I can try to get it again, I guess. Do it, do it, do it. Ooh, that's not good. Do you want to push it, Piper? Oh, no, you don't want to. That's too old. No, I really don't. <laughs> no, never mind. Okay, well, we're back to the you top. You did too pretty, pretty easily. That's good. Tarkov, you're awake. Your foot is completely, it's like flat. It's like a pancake. The bones <laughs> are just kind of like rolling around in there. Nice. Um, your plastic bag on your foot is just a 
Don't worry, Tarkov. You're not defeated yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boss. Um, so I can't... Hmm. Stand up and oh. fire your rifle? Uh, it's, it's, it's a prone it's position. Unlo- Can you do that? It's unloaded, so I can't, I oh. can't shoot it. You can't maneuver to, to load? Uh, no, because technically you can either roll for a skill and activate a mutation or maneuver, which counts as reloading the gun. So I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload my weapon now, um, and then that's it. Okay. All right, Sunny. Uh, so uh, good news for Ken. If you receive healing um, when uh, you're you're injured. Mm-hmm. Uh, you reduce the amount of days it takes to recover from that injury by half. Oh, so instead of what is it, four d six or? Well, we'll we see. not we need to know what it is first, and then. Fi- oh, your critical injury. Yeah, you got to roll four d six. Yeah, I was supposed to do that. I think I forgot. Well, you roll on the critical injury table, right? And then yeah, yeah. And, then you, and then yeah, you look at that. Uh, I already got it. I already got the uh, the smashed foot. I think it's just a healing time now, right? Yeah, yes. that's all we're looking for. So four days. Good stuff. Four days. All right. From Sunny. pancake to full foot again. <laughs> Sunny, is there anything you can do or want to do? Oh yeah, can I move up to uh, Vincent now uh, while I'm still on the same side, like there? Yeah, technically, can. Yep. You and are then, adjacent uh, to him, even though you're in master. range band. All right, and then I will go ahead and attempt to heal skill on him. Try to get him back up. Could you imagine if we had cleaner here right now, just lobbing grenades? Oh, he'd clean this place up. <laughs> At the group of them while they're eating the corpse? <laughs> he would just like... Boom. I mean, that's what we wanted. We wanted to all just hang out and smoke cigarettes in the back while he blew everyone <laughs> away. You know? Hey, I'll take it. Yeah. That's good. It's one. It gets you up. If you want yeah, me to push, I can push. It, it's your call. I mean, I, oh. I of course want you to push, but it's your character. He Let's has do it. No all right. ones. No ones. We'll do that. So drop the skill dice by one. Oof. Oh no. All right. So. Boffren says you guys are killing my average. <laughs> hey, the fight ain't over yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need to be able to allow the chat to buy the disaster. Uh points hey hey if you, you sub it, maybe i'll think about yeah, it yeah if you sub or hey. you're willing to drop bits i hey. will definitely implement something like that <laughs> thanks to thanks to uh uh sunny i now have eight days before i can move anything <laughs> on my neck let me ask you this boffrin if i created a chart with things like that oh boffrin subbed <laughs> he, called your, he called your bluff <laughs> he just yeah, said <laughs> uh, you, you guys decide. Uh, Don't test I just, me. I just play this game. <laughs> Wait, what are we deciding? Uh, he, no. <laughs> so Boffin says, "Can the can the chat buy them a disaster? This will kill your average." And then Mike said, "Well, if you're sub, maybe." And all of a sudden, he subbed. Oh, <laughs> uh, the pain train's coming. <laughs> hey, to be fair. Uh, to be if, fair, if, if we're adding house rules, the general house rule of most Grim and Perilous Saturday Night Games is you take a shot to re-roll. So here comes the tequila. No, oh, no. Oh God. I've actually. Uh, are you talking about? Let's let's maybe talk uh, house rules a little later. <laughs> I'll t- Boffrin, Boffrin, I owe you. I owe you one because yeah, yeah, this is I'll definitely something I, I I need to look at setting up. I haven't yeah, yeah. done it yet. But I think it's a good idea if people are willing to and they want to see it where they can buy certain things in games, I'm all for it. And you, my friend, have bought yourself the first <laughs> one and we're going to figure that out because you just, yeah, you yeah. just subscribed to the channel. So thank That's you. That's cool. Yeah, incentive. <laughs> you mean uh, when we have backups ready to go? You. Yeah. And I talk to Boffrin all the time on Discord, so I will tell him nice. when he's streaming to make sure he gets in here to take advantage of this. Yeah, thanks, Boffrin. <laughs> thanks, buddy. All right. Funny. Look at that. He's now changed the course of the channel. And my kill count. <laughs> uh, dogs. Uh, I guess let's attack Piper. I guess. Yeah, why not? Meow. Do you want to bring it's it? Killed, it's killed everyone else. Um, it hit you. I'll take it. I'll let it, I'll let it roll. Uh, I rolled it wrong. I gotta re-roll because he's injured. 
So that didn't happen. Remember, the rule on the channel is if you roll wrong, you gotta re roll, even if it was a really good roll before. Really bad. Meow prevails. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing? Meow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it misses. <laughs> It, it misses you, and I'm not pushing that. Piper, you're up. Stand there, paw to paw, with the with the dog. You got your knife. You guys are doing. Yeah, Piper's dance. been whooping ass. <laughs> I just can't kill this dog. No, the two of you can't kill I, each other. You're just like I doomed you. You are mortal enemies. You. It is a cat and a dog that are fighting yeah. right now. Cat dog fight. It's the worst. <laughs> I'm assuming you don't want to push that. Oh, uh, no. No. All right, Vincent, you're going to live. Right, but you can't, you can't, you try to, to sit up and you, you can't move. I, like, uh. lean my head up. I lean my head up and I look at uh, Piper, Boss, and Tarkov and I say, fuck that thing up there, kill me. <laughs> and uh, then I'm room. going to, I'm going to use my mind terror mutation. Nice. Yes. yes. It's gonna and, say two on his ankles. You can do it. Yeah, um, <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to torment my victim with visions that inflict confusion or doubt. My choice, and I'm thinking dogs can get confused kind of easily, right? Yeah. Yep. And uh, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go for confusion. And how much you guys think I should spend? Ooh. It's your neck in the line. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all of them. Oh, uh, spend them all. Yeah. <laughs> My neck on the line. Wow, it took me a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to go for max. So I've got eight mutation points. How many is it going to take? Holy or, do, or should I, or do I need eight? to guess? Is it like, is it like, a, what, do you, um, what, do you, what do you want to do? I want to. I want to put it down. I yeah. I would, so you want to confuse um, it so like what? It starts like gnawing on till its, it's own, broken. Like, haunch and it starts just kind of like biting at itself and yeah, till it's broken. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'll tell you, it's got two hit points left. It's it's half it's half oh. dead. So don't uh, don't well, spend your eight mutation. I'm not going to be that mean. Don't spend all those points. Right, but I mean that's damage that it took, which is different than confusion, right? Right. So so I would need to spend however many I need to take it from full wits down. It um, has like a D six in wits. It has one point in wits. Okay, well, um, I'll spend one then, um, as I uh, automatically inflict confusion on it as it's broken, um, and then let's uh, roll that uh, beautiful. Uh... <laughs> okay, got a five. Oh. I really yeah, wanted that's... your mouth to split. Oh, I know. I'm, yeah. I'm like chasing for it. That's why I was like, I'm going to spend as many as it takes. <laughs> oh, look at this. Mercy, Matt, I need to take your green streamer tag. Oh, you're killing me, Boffrin. You're killing me tonight, buddy. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to kill them in their like real first real adventure into the zone, all right? We've got we to take it easy on them. All right? It'll happen, Boffrin. It'll happen. We're playing another free league game. You know how these go. You know what's gonna be crazy is when we find this artifact and it's like a deck of cards. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like, I know we haven't even rolled the, the artifact. <laughs> it's it's It'll literally be like gonna be Barbie like oh, it's a, yeah, it's like oh cool, we get plus one culture, cool, <laughs> definitely worth it. Those egg guys be so thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> All right, egg so guys. you confuse this dog and it starts spinning in a circle, and it starts like biting at its back haunches and like just mercilessly like biting at something like it's got a, like an itch it needs to scratch until it um it just starts bleeding out on the ground Bofferty killing me here man uh, um, and it drops so the four of you combat is over you assess the situation Vincent's lying there in the snow Vincent assesses the situation <laughs> He hey, can't, he can't feel his toes. Hey, thanks for patching me up there, bud. Uh, what's the matter with me? Uh, uh, I guess uh, you got <laughs> bit in the neck, huh? Yeah, how come I can't move? Well, uh, 
let's see here. Uh, how can I put it? Uh, so you know how when you have a disconnected wire, sometimes another part doesn't move? Yeah. You got to fix it. Something like that, I think. Oh, well, I mean, can you rewire me? Uh, probably not here. But, uh, I mean, let's see what I can do. Because, um, yeah, looking at the section, um, yeah, heal, each critical injury has a specific effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah that care. Um, yeah. Uh, I think you can only attempt once a day. Right. So okay. So I, I've see I, I've treated the critical injury, right, <laughs> on both of you essentially. Yep. Yeah. And then so then I would also have to potentially uh, we'd either have to rest or um, um, yeah I could roll to potentially try to make you not be broken. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you guys are not in good shape. Uh, Tarkov <laughs> Neither can, of you. Yeah, Tarkov can pretty much walk limpish, right? I can, I can limp, and my strength's actually not horrible. It's, it's not that far down from where it used to be. Right. Uh, Come on, just, we got this, don't we? Uh... Well, at least you're not as bad as that other guy as I pointed to the guy on the yeah, ground. Yeah, the, the insectoid man who's mutant that's ripped apart on the ice. As I, like, kind of crane my neck over to look at it while I'm laying on the ground, and it's like, hey, it's, it's getting kind of cold. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. What you mean, uh, want to... I mean, give me a boost, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'll set him against the tree, so that way at least he's, like, sitting up. <laughs> ah. But, uh, it might, it might take a bit for you to get better there, bud. I'd like to go examine my kill because I'm a skinner. <laughs> yes. Armor. The, the, the dogs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you could skin some meat off of these, these, uh, bad boys. Heck yeah. Uh, when I skin it with my knife, it can produce a piece of armor with armor value on page 78 of the Jin Lop, equal to the monster's armor. Of course, the only book I don't have in front of me. We can page do it later. Page 78, yeah. Uh, it's equal to the strength rating, I'm pretty sure. Uh, its strength is four on these things. Damn. <laughs> Now, it says when I kill the monster, so I assume I can only do it on one of them. You dropped one of them, yes. Then I would do that. And we'll figure out later. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Insectoid man, you want to go over there and investigate what uh, what is on him? Yeah, I'll go over there. So it's got. Uh... It's just it's just me and Vin lying in the snow, yeah. staring up the <laughs> staring up at the sky. You guys uh, just take a break there, right? Take a breather. So decent. Tarka, I was gonna uh... sneak up next to Vin and just just keep him company. It's got D six bullets on it. Cool. It's wearing it's wearing a single rubber boot. <laughs> I rolled the, that. I was like, oh, just like Ken said, a single rubber boot. It's also wearing a ski hat. Oh, cool. Definitely worth it. Which gives you a gear <laughs> bonus of plus one against cold. Nice. And I will allow you guys to roll the artifact. There's a roll. There's an artifact. So that was just scrap that was on him. <laughs> you get to roll me the artifact. So uh, roll me a D666. Six, six, six. 111. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Pills. Oh uh, boy, what is it? An air mattress. Oh, nice! Oh, All we this need for that an air mattress. Yes. No, you that, do need well, this to bring me back. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what we need. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my that's god! That's gonna make a really good sled. I want to roll to comprehend oh, this thing. Yes, please do. Wow, it's actually a pretty good item. Yeah, I figured it had to be, but it was like a 1-1-1. It has to be something special, right? 
Alright, so comprehend. Come on, Twee. Come on, Twee. Yeah, I wish, right? Ooh. Oop. Push it. Hey! Hey, what are you going over there? Slide it on <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, I'll just slide it on over to, uh, uh and have him take a look. Just kick Let me see it. The ice Let me see it. Let me see it. All right, Vinny. Here it is. Okay, hold it up. I mean, it's, uh, I hold it up. I don't know if it's, is it a queen size or is it like a twin or is it like a full? <laughs> it's, a, it's a twin. Is it like the double thick ones? Like I've seen ones that are like really big air mattresses. It's a, it's a twin. It looks glamping really is a thing. It's it's uh it's <laughs> survived the apocalypse, so it's a quite a sturdy, well built air mattress. Okay, that's uh. So we're just gonna put it over yeah. Ben, right? Uh, it's so got this. Look at him. It's got this hole. <laughs> just drape it over top of the side. Yeah, just drape it over him. Don't blow it up. Just like single layer. All right, is that that's all you need, right? Uh, well, I mean, I gotta be able to teach somebody else how to use it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it. Says, this inflatable old bed offers unbeatable comfort! Exclamation point. It's dirty and worn and hard to inflate if you don't know how to use it. Sleeping on an air mattress is very effective. A single hour is enough to recover all of your lost wits. There you go. It's got a uh, dev bonus of uh, technology plus D6. So wait, you tell you tell uh, Sunny to start blowing in it? Hey, blow in that hole there! That's how it works! Uh, no, I don't, because then that'd be teaching him how, it, how it's oh, used. Oh, right. Be like, uh, hang on. Uh, I know what to do. Just let me think a little bit, how I'm going to figure out how to do this. And it's in pushing. Uh, you did, that's another six. It's good. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. See, here's uh, all right. All right. Um, all right. Hold it up to my mouth for a bit. <laughs> I'll do that. Sure. <laughs> I'll do that. That did then. Sure. You see, you just okay. Now, now, when I check it out of my mouth, you put your thumb over it. <laughs> What about this cap? Should I put that on there, or should I just leave it off? Oh, yeah. Um, the cap will work. Okay. Okay, you see? Now, do like I do a whole lot more. Uh, all right. But, but do more of it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think I get the idea of this. Yeah. I know it's confusing for you, too, but trust us. Yeah. It's just a matter of hot air. So I should have Alcazar blow this up all the time. Yeah, it'd be an endless supply. Yeah. So, uh, he... yeah, I guess we'll... Uh... If I mean... only he could purse his lips. Right. <laughs> then he could kiss my ass. Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh, <it's>... Freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> So but yeah, so, so uh, kills us. Yeah, that's Jen who said that, not 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 the chat. Uh, so you managed to get this thing um, blown up. You just kind of let like rolls um, Vinny onto it. Every yeah, I guess we're just in the snow dragging him. He falls. He like flops off. <laughs> I guess we'll just use it as like a makeshift like gurney. I guess. <laughs> Um, oh, any other season and this would be terrible. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is actually like really convenient that you got this oh, in winter. Hopefully it's all downhill. <laughs> oh. So it's going it's to take you how long to recover from this paralysis? Uh, well, because you help, you know, we got a lot of time. I mean, it's not going to be nearly as much time. Only eight days. So uh, let's see here. Uh, did anyone roll the bullets? Oh, no, someone should uh, roll the bullets. Probably. I think it probably boom! I got it. Six bullets. I'll add it to nice. mine. Since I was the one that went over there, I'll pocket them. Hey. Hey, what happened to your gun? You need me to fix it? Yeah, I also need uh, Tarkov to pull it out of that mud. I was going to say, uh, his, his gun is in He has to pull it out of himself. Yeah. Oh, wait. How about I just make you a new one when we get back, huh? Well, I mean, if you needed the parts, uh, maybe Targa uh, could uh, extract them for you. Out of my body? 
Yeah. No, out of the dog's body. The, the the parts are in the dog's body, right? You use it to murder it. Didn't it it, just, it, like, it into, yeah, like, shrapnel? It, it exploded into myself too. Remember? Well, it was a backfire. Yeah. So I mean, um, I think yeah. I could probably just give you the metal you needed if that's <laughs> if that's what you need. We'll figure it out later. But yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I wouldn't mind another gun. But uh, looks like your hands aren't going to be so handy until uh, <laughs> you've had gone. a rest. Uh. Oh, yeah, you, you make a good point. And I'm pretty sure if I don't bring you back, Ma's going to kill me. Well, if I don't bring you back alive, Ma's definitely going to kill me. We're going to kill ourselves. Oh, yeah, Ma. Ma will not uh, not let you live that down. You allowed my baby, or darling boy, to be hurt. <laughs> darling boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Ma, Ma would kill you. Yeah, so I'm thinking... <laughs> um, do we need to head back again? I think I need to bring more boys. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think from now on we should start bringing the whole crew. I don't know if we need to bring the whole crew. I mean, we still got to run the casino and whatnot. Oh, that's but, true. That's uh, true. Like three hours and we've done one <laughs> We square need some dispendable people. Off yeah. the arc each way. We need, some, we need some randos, if you know what I'm saying. I'm starting to think these new neighbors are bad. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, it's all right, though, because, like, you know, we explored a square. You explored two and squares. So now, too. Yeah, we explored two squares, so now we can just kind of move through them without incident. That's right? true. That's true. Yes. Or yes, less you can. chance. Qu quarter of, it, quarter yeah. of the time. Yeah. We're yeah. just making slow progress. Like, we thought we might be able to get to the new neighbors today, but uh, it is not looking so great. <laughs> um, all right. I mean, do we, I mean, who, anyone actually want to move forward? Uh, you know, Mr. No. Paralyzed and uh, Mr. Broken Foot? No, I'm crushed foot, so I want to... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we could do it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you could bite the kneecaps off. Uh, yeah. You know, I could do a lot with what's working. Trust me. <laughs> I've got four days to heal, so... Uh... No, I'm, we're still good. Trust me. Just because I can't move, can't mean... I, <laughs> I'm still going to be useful. I, I know you got us. But, uh, uh, I mean, I guess we could literally use you as a meat shield for, for any of the dogs that come up upon us. No, but trust me, I, I'm okay. If we, we, if we need to go, you don't wait on account of me, huh? He's got his brain spookies, don't forget. Yeah, I mean, I can... As long as you keep me towards the back of something... <laughs> Like, the only thing I'm thinking of, if we go forward, it's only to scout. It's no fighting. I mean, the, we know the next zone over is going to have the uh, have the profit, right? Uh, so we, maybe we do some looking, but otherwise uh, we ain't getting into more fights. Ah, oh, come on. We can take them. <laughs> <laughs> we can take what? <laughs> I really like Vinny's fighting spirit. Yeah. I don't yeah. agree with it, no. but I like it. No, I mean... Tarkov's okay, going to look it, down at Vin, and he's going to be like, it doesn't matter what he says. <laughs> like, I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, because like, Sonny's looking at the other two like, come on, guys, help me out <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, All right, this guy's crazy. <laughs> Vin's going to put a put a, just a dirty sock over the eyes of Vin. <laughs> And he's going to be like, yeah, that's definitely where we're going. And then we're just going to turn around. <laughs> you know, I could use a nap. <laughs> yeah, you, you just take a nap there. Right. Um, maybe that help out. But hey, uh, When we get to our new neighbors, just wake me up. <laughs> yeah. You know, we'll like, wake you up before we go-go. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Put the ski and, cap over his eyes. Just put it, pull it down. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the new ski cap. We just put it... <laughs> Uh, you get that. You get that plus one against cold, so you don't feel the cold. Yeah, and your on ears. Your face. The only thing that you have feeling yeah. it anymore. The only yeah. appendage you have feeling it. Meanwhile, I'll take my icicle block foot <laughs> and just drag it through this. And just drag. Yeah, just drag it. <laughs> All right, so let's make let's make way back to the yard. Back to the yard. Back, back to the yard. Yeah, you make this your is, way back. This is number two. Back number to the two. gates, yeah. and then up there again. Hey, they've returned! Yay! We're like, what? Oh wait, Vincent's lying down on something. What happened? Uh, yeah. This uh, it's pretty rough out there. So uh, are you alone? 
Uh, this time, yes. All right. Uh, just open. the four of us. All right. It's open and the whole main area is just a slaughter ground and all the cultists are just standing there covered in blood. Fuck me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, they're there. They're greeting you. Oh, my word. Brother, you are harmed again. You have the worst luck going out into the into the wilds, the two of you. Have you not learned anything? Hey, we're making it a safer place for everybody. <laughs> um, so we, we've hit three hours, and I'm going to say we'll end there. <laughs> <laughs> the three, three hours of going in circles, chasing the only tail. <laughs> you, you All right. Get, everybody gets three experience for this session. Oh, boy. And, uh, yes, so like, like Vincent said, you did knock off two areas that you can now speed through next time we play. Yeah. Um, we've uncovered that there is something generating possibly, or there's some source of some insane rot going on. In our lake, yeah. I hear the margarita Making blood. Making margaritas. Going. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, you know that there's the cult of the silver egg over there. You now have cult, or cultists? living in your ark uh you're aware of an ark to the east and um you learned a little bit more about those new neighbors that there's some sort of oh, reptile. don't forget our new winter hat yeah. you have a winter hat yeah. you have a rubber boot and you have six more bullets so moving on up i think a single rubber boot you can wear it on your head i'd call this a success a resounding success yeah <laughs> yeah i mean uh we did well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. are we gonna do any like healing up or anything like that? Or are we gonna just wait for next game session? Uh, um, I on, took next. notes. Next. I took notes on all my my injuries and stuff. Mm -hmm. Same here. The chat wants um, max deaths for the arc. <laughs> well, to come back to the slaughter. <laughs> just you wait, Boffer, and there are plans now that cultists have been welcomed into their doors. Don't you? Uh, no. Oh no! no. Uh, uh, that's hilarious. Um, yeah, the rolls were not on your side tonight, but that happens, right? Yeah. Through experience, so you want to do our healing now? Yeah, let's do our healing. So you're gonna be do... looked after in the arc, so there's gonna be multiple people that can heal you guys. It's not like you're bleeding out and uh, and like dying out in the wilderness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Sonny's actually not too terribly bad when he's, you know, we might have to rest up a bit with him, uh, before it does anything more, but uh, when he can't help out. Yeah, exactly. And, like, do, don't you have, like, NPCs and stuff that can do it? And I'm sure there's other people in the arc that can do it. Yeah, there's, it's like, chroniclers game. and stuff like that generally have the heal skill, I think. I, I'll pull up my... Uh, spreadsheet of npcs yeah i've got yeah you got your your npcs There's here your, your bag of people yeah my bag of people uh let's see here this is some pretty good luck they lived i it was damn close buffer and it was damn close mm -hmm. if he had rolled one higher on the critical chart and if you rolled one higher it was like separate no it was internal bleeding was the next one up and which was d <laughs> four minutes to die right i rolled like a, i rolled a 56 and if i'd have rolled a 66 i would have died yeah uh, yeah and it's also a 65 dies and there's nothing like you instant can... death yeah beautiful so i was uh very close he was on the cusp yeah of instant death um but yeah after that a crushed face um <laughs> oh jeez. where were you here um neck injury so internal bleeding is the next one you die oh you can die you die within d6 minutes of not being treated but you had sunny there mm -hmm. uh, yeah i mean sunny was killing it actually to be fair i would i would say that as far as roles go everybody was doing pretty well with the exception of that shitty stalker you guys brought <laughs> no <laughs> no i kept uh pushing hey, you guys an artifact damage and yeah exactly yeah, you got an air mattress yeah the That's... one we needed <laughs> at yeah. the right yeah. moment well sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy there I, uh, we, we, we paralyze Vin and then we're like, oh, we found this amazing thing that'll help you. It's like, I didn't need it before. <laughs> and you guys you need yeah. it now. <laughs> you guys now have a temple and you have, um, I don't know, Archbishop and, Mitch Tummers. And we have friends. We have, we have our friends in the cult. 
You have yes. Yeah, so you have Artemis and his and his cultists. His did boyos. we roll? Did we roll how much culture we get? I can't remember. Uh, not yet. It's no. D six though. Who wants to roll that one? <laughs> Hands off this one. Pass. <laughs> I got it. Give me Just a second here. Nope. I got it. He rolled a six. He rolled it on a He rolled a rot. But, but he's rolled six. <laughs> Um, I'll take it. Six culture. Who, yeah. I'm hoping you guys are keeping track of this culture. What is it? What is there like a fresco painted on that air mattress? Yeah, you got six <laughs> culture out of it. No, no, no. That was for the, um, the temple. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was like, are you guys keeping track of this stuff on your arc sheet? I hope. Uh, I have. So I, I, am. I am now. I'm trying to, but like, I feel like I missed something about warfare. We've got 10 food supply, 10 warfare, and now six culture. And you rolled tech um, at the beginning of the session too, didn't you? You rolled two tech? Oh, two tech, yeah. Look at us. Okay, I'm Ooh. updated. So someone, I'm just going to let, I'm not even going to touch this. <laughs> I'm way too behind on this. I think we should, well, we should get a group sheet going somewhere that we should also track mm -hmm. outside the game. Yeah, like a like a Google Drive or something. Okay. Yeah. Um, And then... So do we want to turn in this uh, artifact well, or not? <laughs> well, it's not hidden because <laughs> you're lying on it. <laughs> Limp. They're like, er, people are gathering like, Ooh, what's that? What's that? Oh, how does it sleeping work? sleeping for all. Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's something we can get at 10 technology to if we wanted to buy it ourselves, we could potentially produce it then. So it's not that deep into the tree. I think we might as well. Yeah, oh, you can buy sure. artifacts? Well, that's what the dev means, right? Like you can once you have ten, you can potentially make those things, make right? Make them or replicate them. Yeah, you can you can purchase like upgrades to your base, oh, basically. Cool. Okay. Uh, like we could have we could have like if we get enough culture, we can get like uh, like a theater, or if we have enough like one of the other ones, you can get. So like, a lights. militia can go up to like uh, an army and stuff. Like you can yeah, upgrade them yeah. to like the next level. Right, so yeah, I understand that, but I just didn't know that we could just outright purchase artifacts. Oh, well, how else would you be able to buy build a car at that point, right? Because I mean, automobile is an artifact, right? Uh, I think you do that with the uh, GM as far as building that and all that stuff. Like, but... are you talking about the dev requirements, uh, Mike? Yeah, the dev requirements are to right. to use it. Period. Okay, so you can't make it, but the dev requirements. So you, I can understand how to use it. I just can't actually use it until it's right. Is so, that dev? Yeah, dev rating is what allows anyone from our arc to be able to use it. Yeah, yeah, and that's why they're these are like sacred items. It's a it's a like a it's a um, like a barometer of of the whole arc as a as a as a uh, like an entity. Ooh, one of the one of the artifacts is a tuxedo. That would be nice with our hat and our boot. <laughs> yeah. Um, that so would I mean, if Sunny needs if, that, if we want to keep it, I mean, we we can help recover wits faster. Um, if we want to turn it in, we can turn it in. I'm I'm good either way because I know exactly what I'm going to spend my experience on, and that's going to be uh, sleepless. Oh, nice. So. Um, I don't necessarily need it. I, I think we should pass it in, man. right? We're good mm -hmm. people, you know? Right, people. yeah, yeah, you're good people. We're good people. Good people pass pass stuff in to help their, their people out. I want to bump up my command, and I want to recruit three of these cultists into my gang. Is that, what? Is that a thing? You're just like, hey, cultists, come here. I don't, I, well, okay, so generally, the number of, uh, <laughs> it's, it's three to four times whatever your command skill is, right? Is how many gang members you have. So that, that's a good question, is if I bump up that skill, do I just somehow recruit them? You specifically want to target cultists, huh? I mean, I'll, I'll go for anyone, but uh, you said they were being pretty chummy together, so... Uh... They, are, they are quite close to Sunny. You did encounter them first. Yeah, they so, like Sunny. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you Whoa. what. I tell you what. You recruit one of them. You're able to convince one of them yes. to join your ranks. 
All right, so I'll do that later because I'm definitely bumping up my uh... traitor in the mist, or a wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, yeah, or. <laughs> The only cult is because you people haven't seen the light. Right, Boffrin? Mm. Exactly. Go to the silver so egg. Yeah. Go to the silver egg. All your questions will be answered. I'm I'm egg curious. Oh. Your egg stat. Oh, I thought you were gonna be agnostic. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> Here we go. And do you wonder what plans they're hatching? Oh, <laughs> oh! that's three puns in a row. <laughs> Come on, Adam. I don't know if I can do it. Like, you see, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really, combo breaker. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really good at this. I'm not like, you know, the cult of personality or anything like that. So <laughs> yeah. You can do it on command like that. Like, come on, it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have to do an egg pun right now. Do it. I'm not, I, you know, if I did, that would be excellent, but I just can't. Come on. Oh, I mean, we got it, a pancake. It now we got an egg. So now we have breakfast, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, I thought, uh, you know, a pun might be excellent, but, you know, I just don't know if I can come up with one. You know, I think, you know what? It's probably my fault. I think we you had the same just... idea and then I poached it from you. Oh, yeah. You guys are just too, you're too eccentric for me. Oh, um, boy. Here yeah. we go. Now we've become a parody of ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Now we've created a monster. Right? Yeah. Yep, look at that, all that egg on her face. Uh, yeah. Jesus. In all seriousness, I mean, is Zachariah a person or are they like a mutant that has feathers all over them? Because I mean, maybe... if it hatched, I would like to know oh. if it's a big <laughs> Wait, so... bird person. <laughs> are you trying if he was to Jeremiah, he'd be a bullfrog. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Maybe Mike's just being the devil to advocate. I don't know. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> this is getting a bit scratched. This is literally should have been cut. Yeah, this is it, man. <laughs> All right. No more Where's eggs Chuck? Pun. Where's Chuck when we need him? Uh, he was doing <laughs> the, a complain. He was doing the notorious DMG stream, but that looks like that's done. Where is he? Uh, I don't know, but I think Jeff we've had like a solid stop. dozen. All right, we're please done. Stop. Um but, yeah. Um <laughs> Okay. So <laughs> we'll leave off there. Three experience. Mike, you've recruited one of the cultists into your gang. Um, Vincent, you took what? Sleepless? I took sleepless, yeah. Piper, I'm gonna... You want to take? I'm gonna wait on my stuff. I gotta read yeah. up. Yeah, Tarkov, you can research. You, did you need me... Did you need me to uh, um, tell you what that was? Sleepless? Go for it. Yeah. Um, so I uh, can recover lost wits by several other means than sleeping. I can jury rig a device. I can enter an unexplored sector of the zone, or I can comprehend an artifact in order to recover it. So cool. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, Boffrin, for dropping by. Uh, but we're not in Seattle. No. Okay, that's it. Thank you for everybody who joined us for the second session. We're going to have to figure out when we're going to play next because um, it's a once month game. But um, yeah, that was we're fun. We're thinking it should be less, uh, more than that. It should be more frequent. Well, let's take that offline. Okay. And figure that out. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody no. who joined us. And Ken, it was great to have you here in attendance. Yeah, yep, yeah thank you everybody. I, yeah, I feel super rusty uh, reading this book again. But I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It was good. All right. Thank you, everybody. Players, yes. viewers. See you guys later. We're playing uh, Zweihander Bye. tomorrow night. Join us tomorrow night for Zweihander. Zweihander. Have a good night. <laughs>